I lost a significant chunk of progress there due to a brain memory error. Uh, I thought I was playing uh, using the Gen Simulator, and so I knew the hotkeys for saving and loading. Because I don't want to use cartridge saves because it breaks my portrait in the game. Or fixes it, I guess, depending on your point of view. And so then the second half of that broadcast, after I restarted it, was all about me recovering that progress and then some to squeak this deck out uh, in time for me to go. So we have it uh, today, or whatever length of time I broadcast, that we spent enjoying it. That I have to get some money to fill it with good, good, wonderful things. Delightful, delicious goodies, as one does. Alright, hope that explains everything. If it doesn't, uh, maybe you'll figure it out as we go. So yeah, the stats at the fair light right there. You got plenty of time to read those. Cool. I do appreciate being able to carry the upgrades with you that you put on previous cyber decks. Very nice. Pretty sure I don't have any data left in the cyber deck. Yeah. So before I go to the shop... Let's go uh, visit an ATM, as one does. I was speeding up the emulation yesterday due to my time crunch. Not something I intend to uh, continue doing. As I do not mind these trips. The glide, the approach. All right, our paper didn't activate. Delightful. Okay. Huzzah! So we can get what's in the box. Some surveillance data. I'm pretty sure I have a shadow run to go into Fuji next, and uh, I will do that. I don't remember what data store I'm supposed to go into. We can find out, though, once I get in there. Have a gander. There's going to be some uh, delightful clues for our handy-dandy notebook in there. All right. Completely fucking useless. All of it. Well, we'll still go to the shop anyway. <laughs> we'll just be window shopping. We'll be browsing instead of making a purchase. It's dark. Morning. A little bit of uh, spending money. Not enough, though, for me to buy something I'm after. Who am I kidding? I'm going to be after uh, masking, evasion, and bot upgrades, thanks to our NPCP chip upgrade. Our response is capped. We are at the max uh, extra storage. We are at the max RAM. We still we could get some better load speed. I'm going to save that money, though, in case of... Because uh, I didn't earn anything from our trek. Tragedy could occur. Oh, yeah, that got me. Every... Everything that got, uh, poofed, uh, was unpoofed during the, uh, second half of yesterday. Not that it fucking matters. Well, the, the Chernobyl thing, the Easter egg, would be what matters. But I got that along with other shit. I don't think I looked at the, uh, what I pulled from... That's what I pulled from Lone Star. There should be something else in Lone Star as well, pertaining to Joshua's, like, current wanted status. Before we... You know, that since that's in my head. Zombie. Zombie. Alright. Let's keep cracking. We explored most of the data stores in this system. 
So I'm going to check the last one that I can recall. It's at like the south middle. We'll go from there. Besides so upgrading the programs and uh, upgrading the masking and bot and evasion, I want to also buy a rebound. Because I do enjoy that program. Also got to keep in mind uh, the size of the programs we buy in relation to how much we can store. Fairlight gives us plenty of room to play around, but uh, these programs do uh, embiggen. You see. Gotta make sure I have enough space to fit five files of 60. Uh, we go up and then we're gonna have to swivel back down. Get to the data store I'm thinking of. That was amusing. Happened twice. Uh, yesterday. I'm sure it's happened before. I know there are, like, runs of this I've broadcasted. So there are bugs in that vein, too. I talked about on during the first broadcast. Or maybe it was, like, the casual one that I did last week. About how, uh... You could have, uh... Two programs eaten by tar pits. Here we go, legal files data store. No? Hmm. Alright, I tell you what I'm gonna do here. Let's fucking look this up. Where the fuck is this clue? Apparently this is the thing that I'm doing. It is the case files data store. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And there is a total of three of these that will appear in intervals. One's at the beginning of the game and disappears when you talk to Boris. Uh, one is uh, after you talk to Boris but before you kill Ido. And then the final one is after you kill Ido and lasts for the rest of the game. Also looks like the uh, the prisoner file I was thinking that was van that vanished uh, when you met Boris Arasco or Vigore and Jarl about Boris Arasco. Uh, that's in Lone Star, and not Hollywood. All right, cool. Well, we can have that bit. All right. I, and this is mattering to me right now because. It matters. Go That's that data store. Roast their beef. Go roast Appreciate you roasting that roast beef. beef! It's gotta be fucking quicker for me to go to this. Of course, that would have been the other data store I didn't visit. Oh, some bullshit. Turns out it's not. Alright. Just give me some data. We'll call it a day. Get some tribal law in there. Yes, do not slap your beef into the tar pit. <laughs> Tari beef. Mmm. <laughs> More tribal law. You know, this this stuff wouldn't be as valuable as what's in a red data store, but I'm here and uh, that red data store we opened to start us off was a complete bust. I would like to have some walking around money, you know, some spare change. Got some change in my pocket and goes jing a ling a ling. Do do do. How are we doing on like medicals? Oh yeah, we're good. Medicals. So, uh. Alright, 3600 again. The walking around money. Huh, that actually triggered the microphone. <laughs> Me stretching my leg and my knee popping. <laughs> Alright. 
sometimes I'm tickled by, uh, like, what does and doesn't, like, prompt the noise gate. Not just through OBS, but also through Discord. Thought I had more time for whatever reason to grab a beverage there. Drink from my sippy cup. Okay. Let's dive into here. Yay. Okay, rejected. Active. Alert. Barrier to art paper. Oh, we can work with it. We'll wave at it a bunch of times. Good to expand your horizons. That's what Ambassador Crumbly teaches me. some closed case files for her trouble. And uh, that's it. Plus I feel like visiting that data store again after slaying Ito, just to show the update. Hmm. Decent value. Clue book. See, now we're up to 19. Wanted Caucasian male, age 18 to 24, 6 foot 1. Preliminary report suggests the suspect goes by the name of Joshua, wanted for questioning in relation to various crimes. Yeah. Well, um... I'm not 18 to 24. I'm not 6 foot 1. Uh, you add like an extra 20 years to that and an extra 3 feet, you're good. The name reports or whatever. Howdy. Welcome aboard. Get the fuck off. Doo doo doo. Do I want to save up for the rebound? I do like it. Came here for nothing. Let's actually get cracking with the uh, Gucci system. Yeah, trolls are. Uh, trolls stand above the rest significantly so. If you are familiar with Arcanum, uh, the half ogres and like their heights compared to uh, everyone else, that's what you're rolling with here. Path code accepted. Okay, so the data store we are heading to is security files. Yay! Let's go. Uh, we're just here as explorers, spelunkers, like the Cenobites and uh, Hellraiser. Angels of some, demons of others. You opened the box. <laughs> now data. I don't need your history data. We... Let's go this way. What do we got in here? Tell me more. Failed on an access. No, it's Deception 4. Come on. Come on. Why would you do that to me? Don't wave at it. Thank you. System files. It's a green 6. Alright. 
And over here we go. Drive down the highway up here to the top right corner. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. This one's a bit beefier. There's a... Uh, there is something I have hopefully taught you during these uh, broadcasts involving trolling the Matrix. It's how far you can get with uh, level 5, level 4 programs. The mid-tier cyber deck with uh, some evasion and masking upgrades into it and a dream. Level 7 computer didn't hurt, of course, which is level 8 now. I do not know, as I've iterated and will do s reiterate, uh, how much of a difference every point of uh, quickness or intelligence makes for cyber combat success. The game labels it as such. I couldn't say. Anyway, here's your security files. That is the shadow run done. I expect some stuff here pertaining to the cyber heart, which you retrieve to put in Stark's body. Eight or nine. Dude, dude, dude. I'm not going to the mayor's office confidential files data store as a moderate matrix run. Thank you. Appreciate it, Caleb. Caleb Sib. Mr. Johnson Sib. Huh. Back to Fuji. Simpsons data. Sort of marketing. Doo doo doo. What's up, Lone Star? It's all good, Lone Star. Yep. Yeah, I'm illegally packing. A weapon. You know. The weapon I'm illegally packing. My heavy combat armor is illegal. Well, let's talk about the weapon I'm illegally packing. Oh, you mean it's her? No, the Warhawk heavy pistol is 100% legit. It's because I'm a Tusker. That's what it is. Walking Bear's a Tusker. We're both Tuskers. Lone Star looks at us. They're not allowed to walk around here. I gotta pay a 500 million fee. Alright. Pretty good value. I like it. What is it? 30 grand? It is, in fact, 30 grand for that level 6 rebound. Put it in my pocket. My meat space hole. How oh, there. I will not call back. You will always be busy. You may have heard of my latest inventions. They're called Rebound Degrade. I've heard some lower hackers been pirating my earlier versions. It's true. You can get a uh, inexpensive uh, hacker contact from Gunderson, uh, who provides uh, level three versions of Rebound Degrade uh, for cheap. I don't really bother with those versions. Rebound bounces the enemy's I enemy ice's attack back at it, allowing it to do more damage in less time. It acts as a shield on its own, albeit one that you will have to replace. But that hit that it bounces back is guaranteed. So if you're really having trouble hitting with your attack program, slap down some rebounds. The great attacks the node security rating, making all programs more effective. Give me some rebound. Bye. Now that's on the table, where I left my keys. You can see it takes up a bit of space. Over double that of the attack program I currently have. We're gonna sort programs around in here, again. 
Because I want to rebound next door. I'm also going to want to uh, spend money to upgrade the, uh, the loading speed of loading programs into the deck. But, uh, that's something we have to do right now. He says he goes to do it right now. Zero percent? It's not a program I would use first. Let's go admire the fountain. Matches my jacket. My jacket does not match the fountain. The fountain matches my jacket. Yeah, okay, Watcher, I'll help. The Watcher leads you through some side streets. He points ahead and you see an old man being brutally beaten by a group of high fivers. The high fivers see you and scatter immediately. The mage addresses you. Thank you for your help. This, I'm afraid, is all I can offer in return. He hands you 200 new yen. Watchers are minor spirits. Uh. And an emphasis on the minor aspect. We can do simple tasks. Also, not something you have to, like, bargain with or, like, impress your will upon. Sort of thing that you can fling out for, like, minor scouting or desperation, the particular case of that mage. Here we go again with this. Ah. <sighs> What? I mean, it makes sense that a Rinraku strike team would come after me. I am on Rinraku property. And then I punched them to death. The end. Right, I'm going back to Fuji. Where are we heading off to? Simpsons Files, of course. We... Of course, now I have to put in an extra input to get to my sleaze in Deception. Oh well. What if I go this way? Ah. Oh. Alright. <laughs> of course the program could fail to execute. <laughs> Fine. Have it your way, video game. It's not a good it's not a good showing for the viewers. <laughs> That's not a tarpon. It's a fucking orange sticks. <laughs> orange sticks repeatedly shattering my... Me attempting to run my rebound. I have eight computer skill. A trace and burn. Okay. It was a grand opportunity to show off the power of, uh, Rebound. And, uh, well... Then the, uh, the window kept breaking. Upsetting. Alright, this is the way the CPU. I wasn't exactly looking for this, but here we are. These things can be sluggish sometimes. Alright. Let's just put the window there. Don't worry, it's not drunk. It's just staying out of the way of my lightning. Wink. There's an intrusion countermeasure you can't see running stealth over there. Don't worry about it. If I were to be attacked, it would come in the way. 
Don't you be passively alert in anything. There we go. Alright. Well, the world's my oyster. And I thought there was a data store in the middle of that, and I am mistaken. How about that? I would expect the Simpsons one to be the one there in the upper mid instead of directly leading off the CPU, but... What the hell. There's an outdated files data store behind the CPU in Club Penumbra. I don't erect matrix systems. I just loot them. Sup, management. Come on. There we go. Give me that client information. <laughs> Top secret intel. Never mind that you could just hear that by going into that club anytime last year. Damn right you canceled that alert. Mm -hmm. How does Grimoth know? Orange five, as one does. There. No alert. Stay on. I insist. Let's have a poke in here. Expect to see some sort of log about the, uh, the Cyber Heart. But that said, we have gotten a number of logs with the Cyber Heart already. Yeah. Okay. The reason why I didn't do that while I was there the first time, there was an active alert. Could have failed to operate the node successfully, wanted to boogie my ass to the CPU to shut off the alert in time. Let's head up here. Understood. Understood. Very good. Alright. See if we successfully operate this node. That's what we needed. Get some beetle data. Alright. Delightful. And because we hacked Fuchi on Rinraku soil, it'll be, uh... more complicated for, uh, the inevitable... investigation into who did that. Yeah. All right. Let's take a quick taxi ride back to Renraku as a shortcut to get back to Caleb. That's our run done. I'd like to go away with my friends in high places. Matrix run? Seattle General Hospital? Bah. Sure. I'm done with outdated, but. Fine. Gotta slum it up every now and then, right? That's how that works. Get our level 6 attack program. Also buy a level 5 sleeves. I can only get one or the other. 
I can only get one or the other. Let's go ahead and grab the level 6 attack. And... Those are out of my price range. Don't care about sensors. I don't need perception. Let's just go back to downtown Seattle. never know when you'll uh, need to rock out with a Genesis sound chip in your life. Oh yeah, I didn't buy replacement programs. That's okay, I have other things. It'll be fine. We're heading to Seattle General Sto Hospital's outdated files anyway, it's not that big of a deal. When I say it's not that big of a deal, it's not a deal. I only chose to do this run because I know exactly where this data store is and it's pretty simple to get to. Howdy. I'll just beat you up. Give me the goods. Later, nerd. Um, it's got all right. Moderate me. Sure. You want me to go back to the exact same place and do the exact same thing? Understood. The clue book's up to 22 these days. Ooh. There's the prototype cybernetic heart set for transport. Full security procedure will be followed. We are waiting for the final paperwork. You know, we will be receiving the prototype cybernetic soon. Be sure to place it in a secure area. Suggest you use the third floor as it is the most secure. Then there's a bit about Aragorn. That's our dispatch note about us. That's Vigore uh, being uh, transferred to Hollywood Correctional. Uh, there's the payment account for the cybernetic heart. Uh, that's uh, to notify where Eileen Two Fists is in Hollywood. Uh, Vigori has been released from prison, as has been Boris. Uh, a bit about uh, Operation Thon. There's a bit about uh, Frosty's after Alicia. Uh, Ido Ogami speaking with Vigori, and uh, Thon is his overhead. Frosty and Alicia, and a map overlay about where that is. Then uh, building our passcode. So that I can be accepted. That's important. Acceptance. Karma wise, uh, I got a bit. <laughs> I got a bit. Got a bit. Good. Go ahead and save our game. Passcode Visit the exact same system to do the exact same fucking thing. Grimmit, are you sure this is the exact same system? You're not seeing any stats for the system access there. That's because I sleaze my way through it. You bypass a node through sleezing. You bypass the ice. So you don't actually go into the node. You don't actually discover the details about it. Only through analysis or by defeating the node in a prior visit, as you can see here, you get those goodies, Accepted. the knowledges for your brain fruits. Anyway, that was basically a, a Gunderson courier run right there. <laughs> Only it pays much better and rewards more karma too. And this technology is planning to kidnap someone, that's a bit more of a jog. Tell you what, why don't we go have a sleep? Get a room with a delightful view of the ocean. A Puget Sound. 
Uh, once you put cyberware in your body, it is a permanent thing. If I wanted to fiddle fuck with that, uh, you'd have to... If you wanted to edit that, you'd have to, like, exit it. Alright, where do we plan on putting this karma? I'm going to continue to do computer stuff. Uh, this broadcast, uh, we obviously are going to have Edo system we're going to be visiting as well. Go ahead and have uh, computer set to 9. Strength can go up to 5. Our melee combat can go up to 5. What the hell? When's the last time I've had my computer's any skill in this game in double digits? Put it at 10. Take strength up to 6. Take body up to 6. Beautiful. We are a punching machine who uh, really knows how to use a cyber deck. As for Walking Bear, uh, sorcery. Sorcery. Quickness. Sorcery. Sorcery. Body. Perfect. Spent all the karma. Didn't plan that, it just, just happened. It's good when things can come together like that. Alright. When will I actually upgrade Walking Bear Spell Assortment? Uh, not a, it's not a top priority right now. My power with my fist is brutal. Brutal fist. Delightful. 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 That can get better, too. You can't get better than brutal, they say. Brutaler. <laughs> I don't want your frag grenades. I'm good. I'm pretty sure I don't even have the inventory space. Yeah, I don't. Thank you, though, for your potential scam. I'm good. No, 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 Griffith. Do 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 do. Let's get our masking on. Although, upgrade the sleeves. Next thing that's going to be up is going to be upgrading the deception to five. You'll notice that I'm uh, starting to dwindle on free memory here. We've still got plenty of storage space, thankfully. But, uh, you know, I've got to be able to load all the programs I want at once. There's definitely that vibe to it. Magic in the mundane. Technology. Casually strolling down the, uh, the avenues of this... Arcology, this space... Entirely owned by Rinraku, it's their legal ground. The, the two Tuskers, a troll and an orc. Wearing heavy combat yeah, armor, okay. as one does. Let's go for a Big A's uh, Corp uh, Confidential Files. I know exactly where that data store is. Uh, it does have a tar pit guarding it. It's okay, I have some fodder for that. I noted before uh, that on romhacking.net there is a... Uh, like one of the files you can get on there is a uh, edited uh, ROM that removes almost all the tar pits in the game except for one. Uh, it lists a specific location of that one so that you could visit it at any point because tar pits are the only way to delete a program from your cyber deck. Uh, in this video game. They didn't think to add a different way to do that. If for whatever reason you wanted to get rid of something. Uh, 
I'm not expecting much in the way of failure uh, with my uh, computer 10 skill. It's, uh, it's pretty solid. Having said that, uh, I'm fine with lobbing things to the ether sometimes. Yeah. It's a minor thing, but it's definitely, like, like <laughs> it's noticeable. There are some programs that also, like, can't fail. Like, they're guaranteed to succeed. Their success is automatic. And you can't, like, fabricate failure out of them even by using something like smoke. Like, well, shit. Guess this lives here now. <laughs> suppose that's one attitude about it. On the other hand, you play this game enough and you realize the tar pits will find you. They're out there. <laughs> Single hot tar pits in your area. Swipe right. <laughs> Swipe right. We also had the dream happen uh, yesterday. When, uh, was about to get settled into this corner, and a mage, uh, vampire, what have you, uh, and a hellhound came to party. It was good times. Pretty good value. Times like this, I do miss out on having to discount the crime wall. But... I seldom side with the Yakuza, so we live here. Speaking of here, why the fuck am I here? Like, what am I... What are we buying? What are you buying? What are you selling? Uh... Could just afford an extra level evasion? Let's get an extra level of masking. I don't want to spend all my money. Never mind that I'm about to get some more. Walking Bear is just here for moral support. I seldom play with her. Uh, I have not bothered to upgrade her magic at all, but rest assured, she's getting more powerful just by being in my proximity. Her same spells. Though, uh, Grimoth knows that even if he invested tens of thousands of Nugan, a hundred thousand Nugan, into her spells, um, you know, she'd still find a way to disappoint him. <laughs> Grimoth knows. Because he knows how casters work in this game when he's not controlling them. Now why wouldn't you control her and just, uh, have the NPC punch for you? No. No. <laughs> I will handle the punching myself, thank you. Yes, that's the reason. <laughs> uh, just kind of stumbled into it, but you know, if there's gonna be a time that you punch people to death, it's gonna be when you're playing as a troll. Come on, man. Come on. Going back to as technology, huh? Marketing data? I remember where that data store is. He said... Fairly confident he remember where it was. Uh... The third companion uh, is probably gonna be Eileen Tufus. Because I don't want another mage in the party, so that does mean no Freya. Trent can die in a fire. Phantom betrayed me. Uh... Peter and Ricky are too bleh. I'm already a decker anyway. The Heartbane, she's cool, but I'm a better decker than she is. Uh, it's gonna be Eileen. Stark I played with so much. Okay. I enjoy him so much. Okay. That way, uh, when we finally get her, 
because I'm not exactly rushing through this story. I can just, uh... I don't know. Be joined in punching. My punch comrade. Punch sister. Thawne is gonna see us in, like, the final fight, and he's gonna be like, What the fuck is this? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're not even a devs! You're gonna try and punch a free spirit to death? <laughs> this is stupid. And so there the uh, Shadowrunners were. Trying to punch a spirit to death. They weren't adepts. They did not have killing hands. They could not effectively engage. Had to bypass the hardened armor, the free spirit. As one does. But at least it was weakened, that free spirit. Marketing. Yeah. I love being correct. Of course, I could rush through the story to, like, pick her up and then fuck around the Matrix, but... Ah. Again, I've gone through this game solo, by myself, as one individual character. I'm not... I'm not fussed. I'm also not fussed about going into the mayor's office confidential data store as a moderate matrix rod. Caleb, please. <laughs> what if you acquired this confidential data from City Hall? No. How about this confidential data from City Hall? No. He's like, fine, I'm gonna send your ass to Ares. <laughs> It's a Hama Confidential, you got it. At least it's not that financial data store that whooped my ass in the first broadcast. Doo doo doo. Let's go. We. Let me think here. So, I've pulled all the interesting files out of a number of different systems. There are, of course, uh, some places I have yet to visit and plunder. Also, Ito's personal system to look forward to. The brutal nightmare that it is. Hey. Don't you be resisting my sleaze. Apparently I'm just fighting you straight up. Didn't even didn't even bother to move <laughs> to the sleeves. No, Caleb would spell my name correctly.
Yippee. Run account. Nah. He's on the job. He wouldn't be drunk. He's too much of a professional for that. Okay. Do do do. Do do do. Let's just walk to the fixer. What? Yes. Here's 500 new yen. I must have misplaced my weapons permit. Wink. You know. The permit for weapons. <sighs> okay. Give me your fucking shotguns. No, keep going. Here, let's fix yourself up. There we go. Fucking eye fibers, man. Anyway. No, I don't want to be in there. Alright. 20,000 million. I guess I'll take it. I guess it's acceptable. Doo doo doo. Howdy. Let's walk away from uh, our friend Caleb Rainmore for a bit. Doo doo doo. Throw down a cartridge save. Cartridge save. Come up here. I'll throw down a emulator save. Again, I don't want to have to load the cartridge save unless necessary. I had to fix my portrait. Continue to invest in this most expensive hobby. Stretch time. Lean back and relax. Let the sweet, soothing sounds of Renraku Arcology lull you into a false sense of security. <laughs> Still here in Renraku Arcology. Let's uh, repurchase that slow. And prepare for war. Before that, I am almost certain. I bought those discounts uh, for two of the three magic stores in the game. 
there's no way to tell that you have in the group inventory. You'd have to, like, basically memorize the prices. Yeah. Uh, let's go just call them both up, I guess. You first. Hey, bud. Discount. Yeah. Cool. I don't know if the prompt would change uh, from them if you'd already bought the discount or not. Uh, I may have also just not bought the discount. And was just going after contacts at that time anyway. But uh, now I know for sure. Walking Bear has gotten stuck somewhere. As is her birthright. Howdy. She, she was just waiting for me outside the magic shop. Yeah, I already had the discounts. Oh well. Money. It happens. There. There's your level 4 Mana Blast. Uh, and we'll upgrade your Mana Zamp as well, because I have no guarantee that you'll actually use a Mana Blast. I can't trust you. What spell will Walking Bear pick? I have no fucking clue. Sup? I'm not Mr. Johnson. Apology accepted. Have a nice day, sir. Okay. So, as technology, not pertinent to the plot, got what I needed from there. Club number, Seattle General Hospital, not pertinent to the plot. Uh, nothing there of clues. Hollywood, got the stuff from there. Mitsuhama, got the stuff from there. Renraku, there's probably another clue or two in there. Still. Uh, Fuchi, pretty sure I got everything from there. I did hit up all the data stores. Lone Star, got everything from there. I skipped Ares. Ares is a pain in the fucking ass. Uh, but they've got what I'm looking for. So let's go to the Serpentine Kick You in the Dick system. Woo! Kick you in the dick. Contain your excitement. Yeah, I know I'm not a Matrix run. What the fuck is wrong with me? This is a personal run. This is a me run. From me. Off to a good start. Off to a good start. Get the fuck out of there. Just fucking leave. Good news. We triggered the tar paper. And, uh, pass through the system access node. Great. Wonderful. I'm thrilled. Gonna be one of those days, huh? <laughs> Good. Good. Fine, we'll do it like this, fast system access node. <laughs> I probably should have kept enough money, or earned enough money, to buy my sleaze back. Because I'm expecting to have to set this on fire in the making of this film. I am expecting the confidential data store to be by the CPU. As we comb our way to the Serpentine Ares macro technology bullshit. This one's got a tar pit. Let's uh, give it a whirl. Yippee. The computer skill of 10, the sleaze of 5, the incredible masking power I have. We've been in this, uh, this system one time uh, in this series. And uh, that data store that we needed was right behind that SPU. Howdy. Resisted? How dare. Uh, I'm not gonna look. Let's get to go for the CPU. See if I can succeed on these dice rolls. 
squinting. <laughs> uh, just to stick to my guns, I guess. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna fight this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes this program doesn't break after it bounces one attack back. Sometimes. But you know, this is very powerful. It is an active alert. Really, I'm delighted I was able to get the program to run, even. Huzzah. Okay, let's get to work with this status door. See, look at this fucking system layout, man. <laughs> Just a, a time-consuming pain in the ass. Put the analyze in there. Chuck it. All right. Would have had to fight this anyway. Can't deceive barriers. Not a good sign to see this many failures. My computer skill of 10. There is what we needed. Right. Actually, two in here. The fuck's the other one? No, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Hmm. I look forward to looking at the clue book. <laughs> cool. Go back. Did not, in fact, lose my sleaze. Delightful. We might, in fact, get paid by raiding Ares Macro Technologies Confidential File Data Store. I may already have five files. Well, I definitely have them now. Cool. Bye. Do 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 do. Let's sell these files. Report on the operations here. the unfortunate nature of the recent security breach, we must give up this Eileen Two-Fist to Hollywood Correctional. In the future, I suggest we cancel our contract with Lone Star Security and deal with problems like this ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Alright, that makes sense. That's the, uh... So uh, one of the files that we pulled out of Ares' confidential data store. I wonder if there is other data there that's pertinent to the story. I forgot about this one. There we go. Woo! Overtime! Yeah! Alright. C H E R N O. B. <laughs> y. L. Yay! Seattle Corps band together to form Power Cartel. Prices rise. Virus springs down. New computer system in South America. Origin traced to system files. We've uh, been through that data store before. And we uh, were on a Matrix run. A job against the federal government. 
Nuclear winter for Bismarck, North Dakota after reactor mishap. State of the art computer installed in Shiawase atomic nuclear plant, Revit Barons. Corpse indicted in Matrix sabotage. Renraku, Fushi, Ares, Mitsuhama, and Lone Star all suspected. Yippee. Let's go by the. Uh... The stop program back. Stop. I guess I could buy the shitty level 3 degrade. For like 5,000. Bit of a pricey chuck at a tar pit, but. Mm, mm. <laughs> it exists. <laughs> Alright. I know where the system files data store is. Okay. Let's go. Accepted. Um, you would waste the points. That's that's the answer to your question. <laughs> I would I would look baffled at the chat and ask and I would ask the person who did that why It would be a poor life choice yes You're not the first person to uh wonder that uh Goffini uh who already had a VIP badge, uh, wanted to, uh, spend her points on me rolling the die anyway, despite already having a VIP badge. I was like, well, okay. <laughs> sure. If you want. Yes, it's a pricier. It's a poorer life choice. The rich man's poor life choice. Anyway, folks, this is the system of the UCAS federal government. Uh, you normally, like, don't get a run passcode for this. Uh, well, like, you don't have one permanently saved in your Rolodex. Uh, you can get a run to come here, though. But, uh, thanks to our Chernobyl Easter egg, we're here. And we're done. That's it. That's all we needed to do. Huzzah. Mission accomplished. We win. Now we'll come hit up this data store. Time to roll the die again. You got it, boss. Let me uh, blitz through this, uh, this data store. More valuable than the system files one. Yeah. I guess uh, we're going to be leaving here without showing you guys the full map of the UCS Federal Government Matrix System. Oh no. Uh, it's a 13. <laughs> Buying up the stocks? I mean, you can't double VIP. <laughs> you got it. I suppose I could institute it so that if you won, you could give the VIP badge to someone else? Or take the VIP badge from someone else. That fell off the table. And the permit a re-roll. It was a four. The table roll. The one that fell off the table was a three. <laughs> so it's not as if I've bamboozled you.
All right, there should be five files. So yeah, uh, that's the how difficult that system is. <laughs> I wasn't super speedy towards getting uh, Chernobyl online, but you know, pretty dedicated and focused in my decking. And uh, we resolved that fine, just fine. Let's go look at the book. You have deleted the virus and saved the citizens of Redmond Barrens. You also managed to divert a large sum of credits to your account. Sega of America thanks you for your efforts. I'm not rolling. <laughs> the sound of me setting the D20 on the other side of the desk. Alright, so what? There's like 30,000 that we get from that? I don't remember what value I had beforehand. Could have been 50,000. Like, we just had this conversation. A super mega lass. About what I would do. <laughs> if a VIP spent that. And I'd look at the chat and ask, why? Yes. As you are already a VIP. I cannot double VIP. It is not a power I possess. A terrible limitation, I understand. I got a person cancer. <laughs> it's not about the money. <sighs> Behold the VIP. The VIP of VIPs. The VIP of VIPs. Sure. Yeah, let's start getting some evasion. You can upgrade these values to double your MPCP. And, uh... We've got, uh, we've got some number. I'm pretty sure it's double. At least it was double, uh, when we got from, like, we had three of it and we could upgrade those things to six. Now it's twelve. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll cap out at twelve. Yeah. I was interested in upgrading my deception program straight up. Not that I'm using that much. I can't sleaze my way past it, I just beat the shit out of it. Takes up space, it has mass, but whatever. I'll do it anyway. Fuck it. Give me. Give. Mmm. Leave that alone. Doot doot. Doot doot. Alright, so our cyber decking, I. Uh, we don't have to do that anymore. We can, we can retire except for Ito's personal system. And, uh, dipping back into. Benraku for a thing, especially after we kill Ito Agami and snatch the, uh,. The overlay map, and then uh, dipping into Lone Star after we uh, kill Edo. That's going to be the extent of the clues I can obtain, to my knowledge. There could very well be some others that I have forgotten about that will be lost to the ether. And there's been maybe two that have already been lost to the ether, but I can't be asked. I can't reinvent them, you know. You can certainly play through the game without seeing them. They're just neat bits of story that can help guide you in the correct direction. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Do do do. Okay. Accepted. Thanks. Let's go have a look over at Rinraku's east side. It was a 17. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> See you in 10 minutes. <laughs> I was assuming Darkfire Phoenix had already left. Some individuals uh, used a strategic choice of uh, having me roll that as they're leaving the broadcast anyway. Figuring uh, they won't have to suffer the punishment if they're just gone and can't contribute anymore. Are you fucking kidding me? I have computer skill 10, my deception is 5, my masking is 10, and you have the audacity to fail? Against this access ice? And then my attack fails against the access ice? How dare. Huh. How about that? With those two files, I don't suspect uh, anything is going to be down there. I hadn't even cashed in my other stuff. Uh, one of them down there in the uh, the bottom right corner is the competition data store, which I ended up in accidentally, and that definitely didn't have anything. The other one probably pertains to, like marketing or some shit, and it probably doesn't have anything for us either. Alright, all that shit we pulled out of Rinraku was fucking valueless anyway. Let's have a look, though. I'm in the mood. That's what we're doing. We're trolling the Matrix, beating the hell out of these Megacorps. Means we'll have to get on with, uh... I suppose just going through the story! Which, uh, let me tell you, is going to be pretty fucking swift. If I actually turn my uh, attention to going through the story, <laughs> we will, uh, it will be over soon. But who knows? We do still have Ito's personal system I intend to, uh, to fuck around in. Good, that's the kind of success I want to see. It's just system files. Fuck it. How about this one? Outdated? Dead projects? Mm. How about that? It didn't break after one hit. Holy shit. Three hits? My god. Get him! Get him, rebound! Get him! Black guy's like, I ain't fucking shooting at you anymore. You fucking nuts? <laughs> there we go. That's what I like to see. It's project files. And there wasn't anything of interest in here. Okay. That's everything, then. Let's uh, go dispatch Ito Ogami. 
third time's the charm. And then to the, the first session, and then yesterday's session by beating him up. Now it's for, uh, now it's for realsies. Now he is perma-doomed. Pretty good stuff overall. Got a good chunk of walking around cash. Walking around cash. Walking around cash. So what the hell do I want to do with this uh, smart link? Do I want to remove it? You can't do that normally in the context of the video game. Think about whether I want to hex at it right now on the fly. Okay. I think the answer to that is yes. <sighs> so, give me a few minutes. Pop up the hex editor. I will elect not to show it. It is to trust me that I'm doing it. Take a take a moment, everyone. Take a take a break. Take a load off your feet. And hope I don't break this fucking video game. <laughs> That's where I need to look for that. Let's open up this so I have a reference point. That's important. For my adventures in stupidity. That value right there. Okay. Got it. So in this hex editor. So there. So if I subtract. All right, let me pull out a hex, hex number calculator. <laughs> All right, uh, if I take the number, if I take the hex number 13, oh, all right. Let's uh I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself here. We're gonna we're gonna interpret this as being away. We'll be right back.
All right. I uh, wanted to double check my work just to uh, make sure, which is why it took me so long. We're back. Oh. Be a little bit longer, but you know, things happen. There's a uh, there's two values for uh for cyberware or rather like two offsets on uh, the hex editing for Shadowrun. And uh, depending on the values, it determines like the different sort of like combinations of them. So I had to find the value that just uh, removed what it was I was looking for, and then uh, restore the essence for it. Also, I can buy another hit of dermal plating. What? Here's 500 new yen. There's your 500 new yen tax. I had the game paused. I didn't even give you folks music. Uh, this will fine. We ain't going anywhere else. Give it here. Ta-da! Gonna be good. Gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah. Completely superfluous. Entirely unnecessary, but it's great. So let's look at the clue book. And I have 27 in here now. What's new? It'll be two from Rinraku. Hmm? Yep, we knew that. We knew that. Located Frosty, last seen leaving the Terrasolar City Inn. She then headed for the Cincerock. We lost track of her soon after. A meddler named Joshua has become too involved in our affairs lately. Hunt him down and make him understand we are none of his concern. Yeah. Turns out you are my concern. Let's put off Edo for like a few more minutes. Doot doot. Doot doot. Go talk about Frosty. We can do that. Howdy. Looking for an elf named Frosty. He's probably the center rock. Yeah. Hello. Those were choices you made, sir. You can leave that med kit with your dying body. You're gonna need it. Max. I'd like to procure your services, Max. I would like some forged corporate security badges. Whip up some clearance badges in no time. 6,000 new yen. These babies are guaranteed to work in my name, ain't Max, but they're only good for one visit. Wink. 6,000 new yen to pay for one visit when any run that you'd be going on isn't going to pay 6,000 new yen. Unless you thoroughly loot the place. Uh, you... No dark fire, Phoenix. Uh, uh, I. You cannot die in this video game. It's not a matter of using time hacks. You cannot reach a fail state in this video game. It's dog wagon hacks. Uh, um. Doo -doo -doo. This is Fuchi. This is Mitsuhama. Wait until after hours and slip into Mitsuhama with the night cleaning crew. Hopefully Aragorn is still here. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. This is my color palette for inside corporations, I see. Howdy, here's my ID. See you. Now, of course, I could engage in all sorts of other nefarious in jack into cyberspace activities, crash the CPU, shut down individual things. But, uh. Gotta make use out of my level 5 maglock passkey, you know? It's important. 
And if, uh, camera catches us along the way, even though we're officially ID'd. Not even a paying customer my brother was. It's weird. Come on, man. I'm licensed to be here. I have an ID. But fine. Mitsuhama's like, no Tuskers are gonna be licensed to be here. <laughs> we don't permit that. We're Mitsuhama. I'm into the room. He's like, aha, I can escape now. Then he runs to the elevator and realizes he can't use it while the alarm's going on. Teehee lol. Is it time? Yeah. <laughs> going into the thing during alert would be an active alert, which could be fun. But we've already been Mitsuhama during an active alert, and again, I don't want to crash the CPU. It'd be tragic. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't make break maglocks across the board. Not that that matters, because I have a level 5 maglock passkey, but I want to preserve them. I'm pretty sure it only happens when you're outside a corp run, but you know. These things happen. There we go. Problem solved. Anyway, bye. Have a good day. Do do do. That's us out. Okay, we still got our security pass. Still got the pass. All pass. Still got the all pass. All right. What spell will she use? Looks like she was continuing to want to use this fucking shitty mana. Instead of, you know, this cool thing. But we'll see if we can uh, set her to the mindset of using it. I choose to believe. Not the first time we'll be disappointed. I should say, hi. I'm still not Mr. Johnson. I just play one on TV. On the trids. I could go to Boris, uh, get some Forge Passports for a grand. But I got the cash, we'll just hire Sharky. After we beat up Edo, for the last time. Edo, for the last time. Howdy! There you go. Let's go, Edo. There we go. Yeah, everyone's fucked. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Lend body, numerous papers. Resolve Mar for opportunity. We grab all we can. Got little pics of Michael and Stark. Don't worry, everyone. Stark's dead. No survivors. That's what Rim Rocket tells us. Very suspicious. Vigore, this is our, uh, this is our main storyline hook into uh, Vigore and Thon being together, and Vigore not being all he seems. You know, we're told by other individuals if we ask, to, and Vigore's suspicious. We also get 10,000 new yen. And we get a passcode for Ito's personal computer system. Anyway, bye. Doo doo doo. I mean, these are choices you made. 
I, uh, I upgraded Walking Bear's magic now, though, so she's not just flinging shitty mana darts, and even if she did, those are still 4-6. Alright. Well, Sharky. Sharky here, you looking for a ride, handsome? As a matter of fact, take me. Sailor she. Whoosh. You got some visiting to do. Howdy. I freed your ungrateful brother. <laughs> I have returned, brother. The evil state of Seattle was no match for me. He gives me a warning glare. The fuck ever, man. <laughs> I will insert my fist into your <laughs> entire torso and spin it like I spin my cyber deck. The fuck out of here. All right. Go hit up Spirit Eyes. Eventually. Maybe. Bye. I ain't walking to the sensor rock. I've done that too many times. I ain't here. I ain't here to use these feet. You! Bring that chopper back. Stop. Let me talk to the tribal elders. The elven elders grant your request for an audience at a simple in the lounge. Now we're looking for Frosty. He's like, look. Sir, this is not a Wendy's. You gotta test me. You can see into the reflection of my heart through the ritual of binding. Gotta go deliver a package to Red Buffalo Woman. Alright, fly me back to the highway. Stop. Fifty million. That'll uh that'll help cover my expenses. <laughs> Hey, Red Buffalo Woman, here's your gift. Give me the reciprocal gift. Acha! Get us a sound chip here, making some odd noises, as it does. Unsanctioned noises. We have enough cash? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Darky, bring that chopper back here. Can I speak with the tribal elders? Great. Here's your gift. Trial fellowship. Eileen Tufus. Understood. You got it. I'm here to help. Hey, Caleb. I know where Eileen is. I have clues that tell me where Eileen is. Where do you think Eileen is? Doing time in Hollywood Correctional after a botched run against Ares. Yippee. Doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. Well, it's a good thing that, uh. We already bought permission to go in the Hollywood Correctional facility. Wink. Because we need that. Because three contacts provide that. It's super fucking important. You walk to the security gate and speak to the guard. He checks the false name you give him against the list on the computer and clears you for entry. Gate swings open. Oh man, look at this palette. And what it's done to the character. I really like this, uh, this color here. Uh, let's, let's not worry about that. <laughs> Aline! Level 5 maglock. Ta-da! Hey. 
Cha-cha! Love that prison shop class. I'll have to risk the front door again. You got it. Let's uh, be a bit circuitous about this. I know I mentioned that uh, I'm not here for walking, but here I am here for walking. Bye, guys! Hollywood Correctional Facility, everyone. The end. What's up? Information. Tell me things. Shut him loud. Read your dialogue last week. Again, for the nth time. Suppose I'd be interested in another run with you. Uh, I could slow roller to save money. Yeah, that's all I need to worry about. Saving money. Tell you what. Just a pal for the short term. Okay, Eileen Two-Fist. She starts with hand raisers. It's kind of fucking awkward. He has melee combat six. You know, she's better at it than I am, but I have 27 unspent karma. He has flat four and firearms, which means she can use anything, including the super awesome shotguns. Obliterate fools. Three rep, four negotiation. She can be our negotiator, our buyer and seller, and three in biotech. Two throw and hot damn. Shut him loud. Okay. Yeah. Welcome aboard, Eileen. Literally nothing. Cyberware and the hand raisers, the muscle replacement, and the wire reflexes, which uh, means that uh, she gets hit by a melee attack. Uh, she's going down. That bug. So we might as well just commit to that with her. I cannot afford to buy her uh, super awesome armor at this time. Let's uh go change that. Gotta make some more money. Go bring our new friend in here to visit Caleb Brightmore. Hey, I've saved Eileen. That's me. I did that. He's like, take your, take Eileen back to Ares. <laughs> like, what the fuck, Caleb? <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> uh, good fun. Good fun. From Raku Confidential Files, you got it. We don't resist my sleeves. I can't remember whether it's this. Just use the analyze. Hmm. 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 A lot of failures here. Uh, the tank six computer ten man. There we go. Club that motherfucker to death. As if that ice were a baby seal. <laughs> I 
Ah, uh, heartlessness. Where's your sense of compassion? Slot off, frag face. Almost certain that last hit was gonna get it. There we go. The last, last hit. Shit, this wasn't confidential, this is project. The other one's confidential. Alright. Well, I'm wasting my time. There we go. All is well in the world. Some bitch. Gotta get Eileen some karma too, I guess. Woo! You better cancel that alert. Think about what you did to me. Long range goals. Fuck shit up. Good goal. Good goal. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Good fucking playing Family Feud. The number one answer on the board. Woo! What's up? Go pick up Eileen again. Up and up, bro. No. I'm good. Thanks, fam. Caleb. I am a matrix expert now. A super machine. Really, I could I could do any run that you give me. Yeah, Griff. Uh, we've done some storyline stuff, too. We've kicked all kinds of ass here. Give me a little bit of hex editing. To remove the stupid smart gun system I put into my body. Buy some more dermal plating, because I ain't picking up a fucking gun. And if I do pick up a gun, it's not going to be a gun I can customize. We've even got our third party member, although I am dithering about with uh, putting her on the team permanently, but she will be put on the team permanently. So, get this dude first aid. 150 new again. Glad I could save your life. The kind of quality I bring to the table. Yeah, um, uh, so this troll decker, uh, he's, um, he's still got room to grow. Like, he can still become tougher. He can still become stronger. <laughs> that computer skill, though, I ain't increasing that above 10. Your skill doesn't go up to 12. And uh, we don't need any more of that. The only uh, system I really have to play around with uh, anymore is... Yogami's. We already did Chernobyl. Also upgraded some of Walking Bear's magic. You can absolutely crush the competition now. Feels good. You know, uh, shotgun blasts can still deal damage to me. Of course, anything that can bypass armor can also deal damage to me. A la Hellhound. What's up? Come back. I'll pay you 510 new yen to, uh, to watch my six. It's a beautiful six. It's a massive, majestic six. You know I'm all about that base. About that base. No treble. I'm all about that base. About that base. <laughs> no treble.
Decker, like, troll deck, troll is just, like, jacked into the Matrix. Says, yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't no size two. But I can shake it, shake it. Like I'm supposed to do. Because I got that boom boom that all the boys chase. All the right junk. In all the right places. Eileen, like, looks over at Walking Bear. Is he always like this? When <laughs> he's, like, jacked into the Matrix. She nods. I see the magazines, working that photoshop. They know that shit ain't real. Come on now, make it stop. He like, jacks out here at this point, like, looks at him, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I invested my knowledge points into like, 2010's like, pop song. You know, just after the awakening. I don't want to go into that system. It's not worth it. Yeah, that's, uh... I'd say that's also not worth it, but sure. Whatever. Gotta play around the Matrix. Well, I still can, yeah. <laughs> we'll continue when I jack back into the Matrix. I don't... just wanted to visit Gunderson for a bit. Hey, bud. Wanna come guard my backside again and listen to me sing some more? He's like, I guess? <laughs> If you got beauty, beauty, just raise them up. Because every inch of you is perfect from the bottom to the top. Now my mama, she told me, don't worry about your size. She said, boys like a little more booty to hold at night. You know, I won't be no stick figure, silicone Barbie doll. So if that's what you're into, now go ahead and move along. Eileen <laughs> looks over at like, <laughs> Walking Bear. Where the fuck does he get this shit? <laughs> Shark. <laughs> Walking Bear says, my destiny, according to Bear, is to follow him. And Eileen's like, that's not very helpful. <laughs> Pretty sure security is up here into the right. Not. Certain, but pretty sure. It's either over here or over yonder. Oh. Damn. I guess the C it's the CPU that leads out well. So much for uh, remembering where I'm going, yeah? I'm bringing booty back. Go ahead and tell them skinny bitches that. Nah, I just play it. I know they think they fat. We tell you, every inch of you is perfect, from the bottom to the top. I mean, like, rolls her eyes. <laughs> Walking Bear just, like, stares passively. Walking Bear, like, reaches up, like, starts spinning the cyber deck again. <laughs> Eileen's like, why do you do that? Uh, she looks over and says, aerodynamics, he told me. What? That doesn't make any sense. My destiny is to follow him. That is what Bear told me. <laughs> Active alert. Eileen, like, throws her arms up. 
couple like weenies pass by, data jacked into we are where we are the Redmond Barons. They think about causing some trouble, but uh, rapidly change their minds. Anyway, this wasn't the data store I needed. I could have not. Hmm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Could have not done any data harvesting there and just gone for the security files data store, but whatever. Glad I could enrich all of your lives. <laughs> Make it train. Fucking waving at the node. Thank you. Was in fact our security files data store. Yippee, run accomplished. Got room for two, three more files. Yeah. Bye. Not gonna bother deleting the one from the Johnson. And you don't actually need to keep that. You can just, uh... Just downloading it, it's enough to flag to the game that you completed the run. You would then, like, yeet it into the cosmos. Cool. I don't want to go there. Can't make me. Baka. No. He's like, I have no more red flag for experts runs anymore, Grimma. They don't exist. It's only moderate ones. I look at him and say, that's not worth my time. Give me the hard stuff. He's like, fine. Gates under sound. Don't actually think I have the code for that. We haven't been there. Just run. Not that it matters. But, you know. Haven't been there. It's under sound is the uh, hotel. Probably would have been quicker for me to go to the fixer than take the ride back to Rinraku Arcology. So I could do this. But, oh well. We. We. <laughs> Just do another emulator save. Piece of tragedies. I don't have to hex edit to fix my portrait. Alright, 17,000 million for what I had there in the tank. It's pretty good. We'll use this money to cyber up Eileen. And, uh... Maybe buy some more magic and maybe buy some magic trinkets that act like cyberware. Or walking bear.
tempted to open up the hex editor again and uh, no. remove the totem so that it doesn't take up an inventory space. That's bullshit that it does, but I can't care enough. No. Yeah, come listen to me sing some more. Security files data store is here. It's not like I spent a lot of time here in Gates Under Sound. So, yay? Yeah, I don't fucking remember the layout of this place at all. Let's just go. This way. I'm gonna stand up for my computer chair here. Maybe. No, at the very least, though. Scoop back here. Crack my legs. What? You fucking kidding me? Trace and Burn was too sluggish to even get started in any meaningful capacity. Oh. Nah. Let's let the rebound take care of the rest of it. Work on untangling my cords or something. Do, 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 do. <laughs> nope, not done yet. A little going, everyone. A uh, sir. Hey. Start dealing more damage, black guys. Come on. Come on, black guys. You know you want to hurt me some more. Fuck it. <laughs> there we go. Speed that along. Which one's the security data store? I don't know. Delightful. That's management. Very well. Very well. It's financial. All right, fine. Where y'all bitches hiding the security? Node. Ah, let's see. Let's go here. Load this. Delightful. System. 
We're not doing this system again. <laughs> like an urban sprawl right here, all laid out haphazardly. Maybe I should have just thought that I'm gonna have to loop through there again, unless this is the node. Yay. Outdated, fuck. Alright, fine. I could head back to the CPU and teleport directly to that data store. We'll do that. Okay. I'm gonna beat this data store. I'm gonna try and access the node to get what I need to complete the run. I'm gonna fail to operate the node successfully. I'm gonna be booted from the fucking Mator. I'm gonna have to do this again. I'm glad that time the Oracle was wrong. <laughs> I'm willing to accept being wrong in limited circumstances. That's one of those times. How much more do I want to invest in my expensive hobby of cyberdecking? He said contemplatively. I might as well not do that. I'm gonna buy the level 3 degrade, not the level 6 one. And when I do that, it's going to force me to reload my programs into the cyber deck again. I don't want your moderate matrix run to go to get the case files data store behind the CPU. It's not worth it. Boss. Johnson man. He's like, how about if I offer it to you again? The answer is still no. Hello, 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 hello. How about I offer it to you a third time? The answer is still no. At least it didn't offer to me a fourth time. But just send me to Rim Rock Group. Do like another run or two, then I gotta take an extended break. I gotta look after the animals in the house. One of those minor obligations that I talked about. Take care of some biz. I ain't going to that system, either. <laughs> I ain't doing your moderate matrix run to get into the mayor's office corporate confidential files. You gotta pay me more for that. He's like, but money is no object for you. said, no. Money is always an object for me. <laughs> Thought you were here to avenge your brother's death. Like, yo. I gotta make some new you while I'm at it. Hollywood. Current files, you got it. Do -do 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 -do. Maybe we'll now we'll figure out what's behind the CPU. The second ice there. <gasps> no, money's money's just a number. In this video game. 
digital. You could get paid in hard, actual physical currency. Not in this video game. Yeah. Yes, they change depending upon the location. That's the power of trolling the Matrix. His portrait, too, changes. Look at him glowing with power over there. Ah! Oi, Joshua, what brings you to this neck of the woods? I'm here to recruit you permanently. A lifelong pal said you can listen to my singing in perpetuity. Enjoy. Okie dokie. Vidphone, Wilma. Interface quickly or disconnect. Procure your searches. Flatline this conversation. Slot the stick if you want to keep this line active. I don't need your expert knowledge in the Matrix. Tell me about an experimental program. New sauce like you've never seen? Go ahead and give me this uh, shitty degrade. Bye. And she the great is, uh, gonna be fuel for tarpits when we visit Edo's system. Oh, hey, it actually didn't boot those down there. How about that? Do, do, do. There. We filled every slot. Yep, Nyleen's on the team. CPU, CPU, CPU. We gave it another chance. Still didn't accomplish anything. Oh well. As it should be. Let's go ahead and complete this shadow run. While I'm here. While I'm here. While I'm here. While I'm here. <laughs> There we go. Big 60s, man. Big old hosses here. Doo doo doo. What's up? What's going on here? The man is shaken by your presence and runs away. The woman rushes up to you. Thank you for your help. He'd have killed me if it wasn't for you. I don't have much, but what I have is yours. Gives you a hundred new units you flag down a cab for. Good luck, lady. What's up? You're looking awful lot like a suspect we've been tracking. Goes by the name of Joshua. Got an idea? I don't know any Joshua's boss. Like, well, I am gonna guess his name is Grimoth. That's what it says in the credit stick. Alright, fine. Uh, Spurs are just a straight up upgrade. And the cost a little bit more essence. Alright, those mostly useless. Spurs are normally a point two. Upgrading from hand razor to spurs is point one. Yo. Cool.
How are we looking these days? 53 karma on, uh... Myself and Walking Bear. 26 on Two Fist. Two Fist! Yeah. I think about what I want to put on Eileen. Since she's already stanked out the way she is. She's most likely not going to be punched by anyone. Most likely. She might be. Which case we'll have to deal with that. Another hit of Wired Reflexes. Uh, that second hit only costs uh, one. Much like how... Uh, the essence cost for uh, wired reflexes in Shadow Run, like table stops. I think it's like two, three, and then five. Which is why they do the two, one, and two. Spurs. Another hit of wired reflexes. Some dermal plating. Get like some cyber eyes. We'll figure it out. Uh, once you have bought it, you cannot remove it to the, uh, confines of the video game. You would have to edit the file. It's a permanent thing. Alright, I already did that. Yeah, so before I take my extended break... Let's uh, go into hell. I got plenty of Nugent to replace whatever I fucking lose. Passcode. Ito's passcode. Here we go. We start off gentle. Ito system. No ice. Great. It's perfectly fine. No problems here, boss. We're good. Huh? Yeah! Sleazy. Cool. Obliterated. <laughs> Nothing of value here, though, so let's go drive past this SPU again, if we dare. Feeling brave tonight? How brave? Brave enough to do battle with hideous tar pits, hmm? Brave enough to sneak around dank matrix systems in the dark and chance being the next victim? Of a black eye strike. Access? Let's go ahead and plop that out. Rushed. Management. That's it, huh? Alright, I, I guess I'll just live here until I get booted. Yeah, let's go. Ah, fuck it. I'm waffling. I was like, let me delete the one that I got from the orange data store. I'll have an extra space. I wouldn't want to do that. What if I get booed? All right. Uh, yeah. Made 16,000 Nuyen. 12,000 Nuyen from one of those files. Pretty good. Okay. It'll help, uh, any replacement fees. Back in we go. Whoosh. Ah, forgot there was a data store behind that data store. Hmm. I'm a ninja. Access black eyes, as you do. Delightful. Eh? Yeah. Help. 
Oof. Good. Get everything that was interesting out of here. I'd have liked to get some money too, but you know, things happen. Uh, yeah. We'll look at the clue book after we're um, done with what we're doing in here. Let's go pick up at analyze. I still have the stop in the grade, but I think it'll be analyzed anyway. I might have a problem with this SPU on the way in. Here. Let's just spend that money on the cyber deck again. Woo, yeah! I was gonna use that money on magic, on, on flying, on, on Nova Coke. No, that's not how magic works in this game, Inferno. In the Shadowrun setting. <laughs> <laughs> I was concerned that uh, something else would end up getting eaten there, too. Alright. Just a, just a sleaze. I got eaten even though I succeeded. I failed. Even though I succeeded, I failed. Even though I succeeded, I failed. Great. Fine, whatever. Game's like, oh, what's that? You spent all of your spare money to, like, replace a program? Fucking eat it. We'll let you through. Okay. Yeah, outright failed to execute that. It is an active alert now, though. Okay. It's a good start. Understood. I hit it. Let me go ahead and just use my shitty level 3 degrade. I'll show you, black eyes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Node? Oh no. What's happening? So, Degrade uh, weakens the node, as well as the intrusion countermeasure defenses with every hit. What's up? What's wrong? Oh no. Hey. Hey, bud. Hey, ballas. Appreciate you roasting that beef. Currently roasting this black ice. You're in Ito's uh, personal system. There we go. There we go. I figured I would just show off what happens if you just continually use Degrade. No, I haven't upgraded my sensors or my analyze program well enough to do anything about that. 
Even on an active alert, this black eyes is zero hope of defeating me. Even if I didn't use rebound. As proved whenever I was just shrugging off all the hits that it tried to lob at me. Got nothing left for the tank. Yeah. Played around with it. As one does. So I gotta replace the sleaze. Lamentable. Alright. Let's just tar paper. Please. I'll do this to you. I think they should be good enough. Yeah, get out of my face, peasant. We Let's cancel the alert, go back to the project files data store. Get some juicy intel. Damn right that alert was cancelled. Yeah, you can see how super successful my programs are. I, I gutted this data store. Or I gutted the node. To the power degrade. Much like I gutted the CPU. Don't worry. It fixes itself when you're after you jack out. It'll be hale and hearty once more. Oh hey, hey. There's a barrier black ice combo. How about that? We didn't work with that. Here's the confidential files. The good stuff. That's it. That's uh, Ito's uh, system. Fully explored. We're fucking booted out. Yippee. Okay. You got it, Rimraku. Uh, Walking Bear is somewhere. She didn't make it up the stairs. So I'll just handle the strike team by myself. It's not easy. I am using my bare fists. It's okay. As for how Eileen went down so quick, she isn't wearing any armor. You know. Anyway. Get back up. Get the fuck up. If you leave someone unconscious, they're just removed from your party. We wouldn't want to have that happen. There we go. One tap. Yippee. Go ahead and re-equip that. Do, 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 do. One more, one more thing before I take my extended break. To think about whether I want to actually replace that sleeve. Useful though the program is. But back to Lone Star. Accepted. The local security here, they have the contract to, uh, police Seattle. Well, sleaze, I'm actually gonna have to resolve things through attacking if I run into something I can't deceive. Tragic. Exception works on most of the ice in this game. Barriers and black ice, though, return syntax errors. They cannot be deceived. You can sleaze through them. You cannot deceive them. Case in point. 
Like, that's not a failure for the program to execute. That's just a, hey, this is illegal. This is a legal move you're doing here, boss. And thrust you into combat. Alright. Yippee. Base files. Oh. Hmm. hmm. I thought that was going to be updated after killing Edo. Oh well. Doesn't matter. I'll just not show that off. No big deal. I mean, you can sneak... There's some ice. There's going to be at least one barrier of black ice in every system you come across. Uh, most ice, uh, you can attempt to deceive. Barriers and black ice. Those intrusion countermeasures cannot be deceived. You can sleaze your way past them. Otherwise, you have to resolve them through uh, digital fisticuffs. All right, 400 new yen for my fucking time. So, I can replace the sleaze. That's not going to be enough new yen for me to fully kit out Eileen, and uh, if I care to do that. Hell, it's not even enough for the heavy combat armor. Oh, that's fine. We'll play around the Matrix some more. We'll actually just punch money out of the Matrix. Not in any particular rush to get this playthrough done. However, I am taking an extended break. It'll be at least 10 minutes. But I would not be surprised if it went longer as well. As I have to do various things uh, around the household and property. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy. I guess. See you in a bit.
All right. Oh, headset comes back on. And uh, we'll be good to go again. We'll see. Pick the controller back up. Go ahead and broadcast the sweet, soothing sounds of me opening up this classic lemonade sparkling water. Good stuff. Evidence that it is I who is back. Me. Surprise. Move that over here. Yeah, not that it's needed right now anyway. And uh, let's get back to the gameplay, yeah? I was gonna do more shit in the Matrix, I guess. After all, I was supposed to be trolling the Matrix, and I did spend a bunch of money. Recently, although it was entirely unnecessary. What about that sleaze program? How do I feel about that? Want to replace that? After I got cheated out of it by an active alert, but I was allowed through the SPU anyway. With grumbles. Not replacing it will make this shit take longer. Do 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 do. We'll start sacking enough new yin to fill Eileen Two Fist with cyberware. I'll actually use the discounted little Chiba. What a novel concept. Don't have turned this into a level 5 again? Nah, we'll keep it level 4. That should be sufficient enough for my needs. What's our unspent karma at these days? We got 29. Thinking about uh, how high I want to take body and strength. Have a rip-roaring good time, you know? Why don't we sleep on it? I was being a troll treating me? Uh, I'm beating people to death with my fizz. No spurs, no hand raisers, no wired reflexes. Just clubbing people with my troll hands. Hollywood has many informants working for them. Security contacts? Hmm. That's not behind the CPU. Hey, what's going on here? Save a lady's life. Yippee. Where are we off to? Security files. Exactly what it says in the fucking tin, huh? Aight. I do not recall where that data store is. Lethal's already proud of me. He can't be any more proud. It's factually impossible. Like, uh, like my 7th grade math teacher said, uh, extra credit doesn't exist. You can't get better than 100%. You cannot improve upon perfection. <laughs> ah. Sorry about that. We're good. Okay. Very good. Let's hit up this data store. That was a security SPU. Good sign, I hope. Okay, Yippee. There it be. Yay. And you know, with how this is a red data store, there's fewer nodes I have to travel through than the one in Big A. We'll, we'll beat up this one. This could be good for us. This could be our money printer. Our money machine. A machine made entirely out of money. 
course, the karma is nice too from doing this stuff. Fine. But we're probably good on karma. Probably. We'll we'll pick up some more from doing like the main quest stuff. And if there's any other expenditures I want to make, we'll go from there. Sleep at the gate under Sam. Have a nice view here for 75 New Year. Still no fucking towels. Such is life. Grease that. Grease that some more. Body will go up to 7. And strength. And uh, we'll take those up to 8. I'll take that up to... Yeah, we'll take that up to 9. And uh, the troll caps out at 10. Which, uh, with 4 hits of muscle replacement, will be 14 strength. Body can go up to 11, which uh, with the three hits of durable plating will be 14 uh, body. Hooray. I'm already a brutal punching power. I don't, you know, I don't know whether I can have even more power, how that will factor in with the mechanics of the game. It doesn't fucking matter. Hmm. Let's take your body up to max. And then improve your sorcery. That's what you do here. You cast magic. And you are very good at it at this point. <laughs> Spinning my cyber deck for me has taught you so much. And you, Eileen? Come on, Eileen. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and increase your intelligence. Also going to go ahead and up your willpower. I actually like the idea of putting something in biotech for you. So that, uh, Walking Bear doesn't invest so much time trying to use heal wounds. We'll give it some thought. Let's get your, uh, punch power up. We'll leave these statistics up here alone for now. She's one off the, uh, the caps for these anyway. Body 6, quickness 6. There. She obviously needs a suit of heavy combat armor. We can afford that. Um, second. This game came out in 93, 94. That would be the time of second edition. Pick up that combat armor. Um, uh, it depends on the story you want to tell. By the way, our power is incredible. I forgot that that existed. Incredible. It just depends on the story you want to tell, right? Certainly the extra body and strength wouldn't lend itself to assisting you in cyberspace. Or is losing out on things, you know, that the troll takes penalties to. Could be harmful for you. Path code. It's all about what you want to do. Accepted. There we go. If you're just tuning in and unfamiliar with this version of Shadowrun, this video game, uh, we are in the... I'm not in the end game story-wise, but I can quickly get there. We're in the later portion of the video game. I'm super powerful right now. I've beaten the game with much less power than what I currently possess. I've uh, spent the time just uh, cruising around in cyberspace, picking up various clues and tips that I don't need, but just felt like showing off for the purposes of this. Uh, you can only play as a human, uh, you are the human Joshua, uh, here in Seattle to look for who your brother's killer is and avenge your brother. 
Uh, you get one of three archetypes, the Samurai, the Decker, or the Gator Shaman. I have hex edited the game uh, to transform myself into a troll using the one troll PC portrait uh, and I edited the color scheme a bit which has resulted in a quirk of me oscillating color sometimes depending on the screen I'm upon. I have two runners with me who are with me for the long haul unless I get in cap. This orc shaman I usually don't play with her on the team and I lean two fists but I usually don't play with her on the team either. Good. Just sold all the data we harvested from a data store to a fixer, someone who's interested in that kind of stuff. That he can sell it off to others. Just hoard it for himself, who the fuck knows, right? We're gonna go get some more. Accepted. Cyberspace is a very expensive hobby in this video game. It can get you tons of Nugan. It's the most lucrative thing you can do in this video game. Uh, but you can go the entire game without ever entering cyberspace. Difficult. Has to be something you do intentionally. But possible. I did a run several years back where I uh, just completely ignored cyberspace. Fine. Fine. Be like that. I wish for my easy street payday. See if I care, Baka. Got one file before I got booted out of the system. Currently, instead of doing any shadow runs, getting hired by Johnson's to do like an assortment of like one of an assorted of like generated quests for me. I'm just uh, raiding the same system, Hollywood Correctional Facility, over and over, to get new yet, which I will use to fund other purchases I'm gonna make that will make that will carry me through the end of the game. Not that any of them are necessary to make, but I just feel like making them. Get upgrade Eileen Two Fists with some cyberware. I might uh, improve some of the spells that Walking Bear has at her disposal and see what the AI controlling her uh, does. With them, we'll go from there. I already got five files. You only store five files in your cyber deck. We're out. Yippee. That wasn't terribly lucrative. Sorry enough. Why don't we catch a ride to uh, Revan Barons since we do get that uh, Yakuza discount. That little Chiba. Let's see how much it's going to cost to uh, the trick out Eileen. Oh, Chiba's Chop Shop is recognized as one of the most competent cyberware installers in Seattle. Their technicians and surgeons are extremely skilled, thus they have the ability to install powerful cyberware. Uh, if you go down at the beginning of the game, uh, reduced to 0% physical or mental health, uh, you will wake up at the Chop Shop having lost a bit of money. Uh, after you pass like the intro part, you get a dock wagon wrist bracelet, a wristband. Uh, it is perpetually effective. Uh, goes anywhere and everywhere. It can pull you out of any situation. Courtesy of the action RPG video game element. Uh, as such, uh, while you will have to pay a fee, uh, you won't die. So you can continue the game without having to load anything. I do like that. Unlike Jake Armitage and the SNES Shadow Run, who uh, <laughs> has so many people out to kill him. <laughs> Fucking skeletons, too. <laughs> Easy for him to die. They haul his body back to the morgue and he doesn't wake up again. Alright. Let's grab a second hit of wired reflexes. Do I want to do another hit of muscle replacement off you? Or three hits of dermal plating? 
definitely gonna grab the spurs. We'll grab the cyber eyes. Three dermal platings or one muscle replacement, one dermal plating. Hmm. You have heavy combat armor. I don't think you're really gonna do the dermal plating that much. Let's grab the muscle replacement. Can we do that? Hold on. Do 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 do. Well, that rule of twelve question did just get answered. Happy days. I am not too familiar with uh, how 5th edition works. Uh, most of my knowledge, almost all of my knowledge, is concentrated on 3rd and 4th editions. Though I know a little bit of 5 and some of the first two editions. I know almost nothing about 6. I've looked at like the like the rules for it and I've looked at like character generation. Uh, with like the Genesis, like, like sort of like character builder program and I... I was like, ah, maybe not. <laughs> and we'll just leave this one alone. Um, I am almost certain that Doc Wagon comes to pick you up out of that situation. And uh, Harlequin gives you another shot. But you know what has been so long as I've gone down against uh, Thawne? I couldn't 100% guarantee that. But I'm pretty sure that's what happens. You know, I might be able to finagle away for me to lose against Thon. <laughs> we'll see where the road takes us, yep. <gasps> Fucking Halloween, are you kidding me, man? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that was the incorrect choice. <laughs> Weenie here, like, on fucking Cram or whatever. K-10. I can take him. <laughs> Troll, like, slowly rotates around, like, You fucking kidding me, bro? Like, yeah, yeah, I got him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, shit. I want to buy any med kits for Eileen. She does have the biotech of three. I think it'd be more efficient for her to be staffed with med kits. Yeah. Like this one that just dropped. How many uses does that have? Eh, two. Whatever. Let's go grab some more. We obviously have Walking Bear, who's pretty uh, capable with uh, healing, even as a focus for it. I have not upgraded that spell for her at all, though. I could buy a, uh, an overall spell power focus for her, too. Guess I do have that option. How much is that? Is that 80,000 for the, for the most powerful one here? Contacts, Nagira. Yeah, it's 80 grand. I mean, I can get it. <laughs> level 3 power focus. Gregory Wilms is his 50 grand for level 2. How about we think about it? I really need to make the NPC spells more powerful. Uh, where was I going? Right. Let's pop in here at the magic shop. Let's upgrade our heal wounds. Not you. There. That fucker is turbocharged now. Good. Sure, if you hate yourself, by all means. I've uh, shown off what having a full magic party, of, a full party of casters, how that works in this video game, and, uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Let's, uh, start doing more with the main storyline here. Let's go visit Spirit Eyes.
Our obligatory, like, ambushy mage. Ready to nuke us. Medicine Lodge is filled with many shaman as well as curious hermetic mages and mundanes. I wish to speak with your most wise one. Alright. You come upon an ancient Amerindian sitting cross-legged near an open fire pit. Your breath catches in your throat as his eyes slide open. He turns to face you. His eyes are bottomless black pits that seem to hold the knowledge of centuries, the deep sadness of racial injustices, and a wealth of human compassion that's a spirit eyes. Welcome, stranger. Sit and let me look at you. Carry a heavy burden and travel into strange land. Enemies surround you and you seek help. Is that not true? Here you can help me find my brother's killer. I can and will help you, for your quest is noble to the spirit. We must seek the identity of your foe, for to know your opponent is half the battle. However, I need you to assist me in acquiring this information. In order to learn the name of your enemy, I must perform a complex ritual. I need three key ingredients, and the task I ask you is to gather them. Uh, we get this piecemeal. Uh, we must gather the horn of a gargoyle. We must remove it with our own hand. Uh, you can find these in, uh, in spooky, like, ghoul-infested houses. Uh, you can also find them in uh, buildings that have... Uh, Enemy and encounter spawning, as if you were in the Salish Sea Wilderness. Sort of an oversight in the game mechanics. We'll be visiting one of them. I'm gonna hit up the uh, the Ghoul House in the Redmond Barrens because ghouls can sp uh, gargoyles can spawn there, and uh, it'll be less threatening for us. Hello. Goodbye. Caves, basically, yeah. I could have done a ghoul bounty mission, but it's not worth my time. Out of my fucking face, peasants. Uh, at this point, I... I am so overpowered to fight ghouls. But we are here for a gargoyle to grab a horn. There's our gargoyle horn. We even got an we got a we got a spare. Just in case uh Spirit Eyes uh loses the first one. Hey, you know, vengeance. The pursuit of uh vengeance, that's noble. You get ambushed by another mage? That happens quite a bit on Council Island. You just poke around a corner and someone comes at you with a, <laughs> a hocus pocus. Obliterate you. Next up! Pelt of a Hellhound. Which you must remove by your own hand. Hellhounds breathe magical fire. Hellhounds bypass your armor. I saw you. He spawned. There's <laughs> another mage ready to nuke us. Hellhounds uh, typically come in uh, groups. They hurt. A lot. We have faced down one hellhound in this playthrough. I do not have a ranged option. I have elected not to have it. Eileen does not have a ranged option. Uh, yeah. Sure. I'll help your master. They run. The i fivers flee, as they should. Let's, uh, have a heal up right quick here. Well, that, uh, wisdom does not help me. You can tell hounds. What the fuck has happened to my character's portrait? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Grimmon. Let's move on. Throw down a cartridge save. And step into this house that operates like a wilderness house. Instead of uh, a ghoul house. See if I can get hellhounds early. And then defeat the hellhounds. Last playthrough I did of this last week, uh, I was in here for a while. Yeah, that hurts. 
My role here on the team is to kite. The troll uh, kites the hellhounds. And that's why I upgraded her, her damn spell. The shitty one that she should not be using. Mana zap to 4-6 anyway. On the off chance she pulled it out. Uh, by the way, the sort of like the, the fiery physical damage spells that don't work against hellhounds. They're immune to that. Anyway, there's our pelts. Don't worry about it. Mission accomplished. Howdy. It's nice that that got done quick. That can uh, take a while. Your best bet if you don't do that is to just like go to the Salishi Wilderness and uh, hope to encounter them there instead of Windigo or Banner Snatch, Gargoyles. You can rarely encounter them in corporations uh, or like on the streets in Seattle. This is better though. Anyway, the final task. Uh, we must return with the living scale of a feathered serpent. The feather must be given freely, not taken from the dragon to be of use. So, all we gotta do is find a dragon, uh, wherever that may be in the video game, and then convince the dragon to give us a scale. You know, typical Shadowrunner shit, right? Just find a fucking dragon. <laughs> and then persuade it to assist you. As one does. Tips and Clues book gives you zero guidance on where you would find a dragon. I haven't bothered flipping through the tips and clue book since I raided uh, Ido's personal system. So let's look through it all again. Melicia is confirmed to be somewhere in the Sailor She. The magical artifacts are in it. The Gore is under Thon's employ. If we tried to visit uh, the Gore and Jarl, uh, their booth would be empty. Not follow Thon or his men any longer. We cannot risk alerting him until we have both pieces of the map. May not be coming restless. That's Mako. That was the former, like, project lead. Or being replaced by Ido Ogami after what happened. Uh, the sale of she was resulted in the death of Joshua's brother. That's about the Cyberheart, which we're not going to be bothering with. Because we're not going to be visiting Stark. Prisoner reports, Figore, Boris Arasco, who we meet much earlier in the game. A bit about uh, finding the replacement for Mako, Ido Ogami, connecting Frosty with Alicia, Gregory and Thon, details about Frosty, a bit about Joshua, uh, him being noticed by Ido Ogami, Frosty's surveillance and where the map is going to be located, the bits about the Chernobyl uh, Easter egg that we already resolved earlier in this run. Sega of America thanked me for my efforts and deleting the virus and saving the citizens of the Redmond Barons. I did that. That was me. Anyway, I want some more Nuyen, so we gotta go, uh... punch a bank. You know how it is. I need some traveling money. Four digits ain't gonna cut it. That's the passport office. If, uh, you don't have a criminal record, you can buy an, e an easy visa to the Sailor She Wilderness, only 500 million. And it works for your entire team. Have code. It's only a one-time use thing. Accepted. You do have a criminal record, uh, it doesn't work. You pay the fee and then, uh, the office tells you to go to hell. <laughs> so then you leave. You can buy legal passports from the Revan Barons from a fixer. Boris Arasco. Double price. Still a pretty good deal. Or if you know a certain contact or rigger, uh, she'll fly you there for three grand. Okay, 
I have Walking Bear, the Orc Shaman that you recruit here uh, in the Friendship Lodge of Council Island, and I have Eileen Tufus, whom you uh, must save as part of the main storyline, The Trial of Friendship. I typically don't play with either of them on the team, and I chose to have them on the team. That's why they're on the team. Walking Bear's been with me for much longer, guarding my back as I spin a cyber deck. And, uh, her karma gains have been considerable, with her sorcery of Tim now. The main character certainly has not been hurting for karma either. I've been able to set all that karma on fire to get the computer to 10, and uh, we still had a good chunk to spare. Oh, 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 disgusting. We'll love it. Yes, yes. Oh, all those files paid off and paid big. Good. Good. Printed some new, yeah. All right. Well, certainly enough cash for me to uh, travel with. It's also enough cash for me, well, it's halfway towards the uh, the power focus. Let's hold that thought, though. Let's go get some more story done. Bed phone, Sharky. Fly me to the Sinserak. 5,000, got it. Saving you a trip. Hey, I have saved Eileen. She's literally on the team. We have received word that all is well with Eileen. We are very gracious, but there is the last part of the ritual to complete. In order to meet Frosty, uh, we have to uh, become an honorary member of the Sinserok tribe. It's part of the main story. You have to accept. Thirdly, will you promise to aid, defend, and respect the Sinserok, both the land and the people, for the rest of your days? Simply answer yes, thereby you will prove your faithfulness. You got it. Now we have initiation ceremony. The entire elf tribe has gathered. This individual known as Joshua <clears throat> has proven himself worthy to be called a friend. We grant him honorary status in our tribe. We Alicia, our first chief, watch over Joshua <clears throat> as he watch it, watches over the actions of all the tribe. The tribe begins an elvish chant and silence fills the air. So let they each come up, rest their hands on your shoulders, and call you brother. Lady Jillian then invites you back to the elders' chambers. Now that you are an honorary member of the tribe, I can answer your questions. Why can you tell me about Alicia? He was the first chief of our tribe. His ideals are what all members of the Centurac attempt to achieve. His known deeds are recorded as object lessons, and his life is an example to all elves. You would do well to study him. What do you know about someone named Thon? Little is known to this disgusting individual, except he has taken a great interest in us. His purposes cannot be benign, but as yet, we cannot fathom his true intent. And though his two toads, Vigore and Jarl, have been desecrating our land for over a month now, and now we're about to be told a, a sad bit. We have gathered that Thon is a powerful fighter, but he is intelligent enough to let others do fighting for him whenever possible. This also appears to be true as his bidding. I'm looking for an elf named Frosty. Oh, Jane Foster. She is the student of one of the most powerful and secretive elves in Seattle. Came to Seattle under mysterious circumstances and worked with her patron ever since. She said that before your paths can cross, you must first seek the wisdom of your ancestors. You must go along with their desires and cannot yet take you to her. Return here when you have attained wisdom. We have not completed Spirit Eyes' ritual. We have not discovered the identity of the killer of our brother. As we have not obtained wisdom, we are not permitted to meet with Frosty. So, yeah. It's unfortunate that. The main quest line uh, starts off like a singular branch and then quickly branches off into three parts. Uh, but then works on interweaving itself to connect back in one part by the end. Anyway, we're going to come out here to find a dragon. Um, you don't know where this dragon is? Have fun. <laughs> I can't say this area is vast, but you're going to be out here trying to find a dragon. And there's no guidance on where you can other than most likely somewhere out here. Enjoy. So then I beat some gargoyles to death with my fizz. We continue. Thankfully, I already know where the dragon is. 
it's like I've played this game a lot. You come upon a Rimraku strike team lurking about the cave. Kill them quickly before they slot this operation all the drack. We gotta beat up another Rimraku strike team. I'm pretty good at that, too. Yeah. Um, they're gone. I really like how my uh, portrait up there is glowing with menacing. The color of... <laughs> I am one with the cavern. Entering this antechamber, you see Anne, Rinraku strike team, to the kill a feathered serpent. Knowing the evil that Rinraku seems to breed, you join sides of the dragon quickly finish them off. The last of Rinraku strike team dealt with, you find yourself face to face with the feathered serpent. Stand wondering what it'll do next, an ethereal voice fills your head. I know I read through this stuff last week, but I kind of, I like this dialogue. I thank you, human, for assisting me. Yeah, <clears throat> human, yeah. <laughs> it seems Rinraku Corporation has it in for my kind. They now most likely have it in you for you also. I wouldn't worry about that. But tell me, how did you happen to come here? Before you answer, remember you deal with a dragon. Ah, I was just in the neighborhood. You try my patience, human. I know you sought me. Now be honest about your intentions before my gratuitous patience wanes. Oh, well, we need a feather to kill to avenge my brother's death. Feathered Serpent gazes at you for what seems like an eternity. Honesty is so rare in humans. I understand it's appreciated, even by non-humans. Ah, uh, thanks. I would be glad to help with such a small task. I feel, however, that is not enough. Okay? What do you have in mind? I owe my life to you, and I sense you have many trials ahead of you. One of these trials I doubt you will survive. Thus, I will bond myself to protect you in your quest for the truth. Know that I will appear only once to aid you, and only when that situation is dire enough for my intervention. My name is Lecortrix, and now we are bound. Fare thee well, human, until fate brings us together again. Lecortrix shakes loose a scale from his hide as he flies away. Excitement barely contained, you snatch up the final item for the ritual. Howdy! Anyway. Lecortrix is gone. Now we gotta hoof it back out. do 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 Convection? I just like instantaneously combust. Not a whole lot of video games do convection. Not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing, just uh just an observation. I think I go right one more time and then I go up. Pretty sure that's true. Then we go left. This is uh pretty gentle, all things considered. Just the one random encounter with gargoyles. Bander snatched a Wendigo. No hellhound. Cool. Anyway, let's, uh, go disappoint the... Oh, hey! There we go. Problem solved. We got to see the other variety here briefly. Yippee. You'd also get accosted by... some presumably, like, elves of the sensor rock drive. I wanna fuck you up. Uh, I'd like to see Frosty. Frosty recently left without notice. I know not when she went. Where she went, and don't know when she went or if she'll be back. She's well known for her long absences. Uh, I want to see Frosty. Anyway, I just popped back in here so I could get a 1,000 million helicopter ride back to the highway. Save me some walking time. That way we never have to walk through the screen where Stark is hidden. Because we ain't, we ain't, we ain't rolling with him. He's dead. How would we know different? Right. Kind of went there out of habit. Let's uh, actually see this ritual. I enjoy it. And it is part of the main storyline, so we gotta do it. Ha-cha! We should speak with your most wise one. Please. Son of a bitch, I sent you to find that skill, not actually expecting you to return. 
Well, all right. I'll do your ritual. Evil walks the land. It is more powerful than I expected and dedicated to the pursuit of power. This is the true face of your enemy, and his name is that same damn name you see repeated all the time when you talk to people these days. Thorn. Thorn killed your brother and he has linked himself to you. I sense he has already begun shaping the events of your life from afar. His lust for power is boundless. You must stop him. Jackalhead. Not dog. Jackal-headed free spirit. Anyway, we try to talk to spirit eyes again. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? It's up to you now. Now we have obtained wisdom. Attained wisdom. We have the wisdom. So now we're allowed to meet Frosty. I ain't going back there again, though. Not yet. We might as well go hit up Rinraku. Yippee. Nah, it's not Rinraku. Let's go visit the Arcology. Back when the Arcology was hale and hearty and nothing bad was happening here. Beans. You easily make it past the foyer and into the office. You know the task at hand. Finding out what Raku knows about this whole mess. Raku's uh, corporate like infrastructure is uh, certainly a doozy of a layout. Thankfully, I am not so weak that I need to stealth and not super punished. Anything this corporation's gonna throw at me, we can club to death pretty easily. I got my ID right here. Later, nerd. We'll go get caught by the camera because I'm going to fail the timing. It's going to upset everyone. <sighs> so we'll have to wait for the alarm to cancel. Where's Walking Bear? Your uh, allies can get caught on vertices and lost in here. Not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna stick next to these bodies. If you get enough bodies on the screen, uh, enemies will stop spawning. As a uh, spray limit. You can have four at once. Unconcerned. I just grabbed the D20. How dare there be five? Then I scroll those people off screen. All right, I guess it's because Walking Bear ain't around here. Well, that's 12. You are getting your 10 minute timeout. As ordained. Your government sanctioned 10 minute timeout. The upper levels of uh, this building are divided in two. Your quest location, though, for like stuff pertaining to the main quest, always in the same spot. The random shadow runs you'll do that involve visiting corpse, uh, that'll vary. There's an assortment of safes in here. They can have goodies for you. They can also have nothing. There's electronics terminals you can hack to, like, disable mag locks, disable cameras, uh, shut down alarms. Uh, there's uh, data jacks to get you into cyberspace that you can use to, like, take out various things like mag locks and cameras. And if you crash the CPU, all goes kaput. But if an alarm's going on when you jack into cyberspace in the Matrix, uh, it's an active alert. Anyway. Howdy, here's my ID. Here's my level 4 mag lock door. They have a pass key for that, though. We have a level 5 mag lock pass key. Whoosh. And this will activate an alert guaranteed. So. Hey. Hey. You get in here with the class. Everyone bundle in here. Team effort. 
you can also have random encounters that, you know, you might be able to get information from, or uh, uh, may get set off, and so the alert goes, alert goes off. Just walk away. I don't care about your damn toothpick flicking. Although I could have attacked him anyway, because I'm setting off this alert anyway. I will take that disrespect. Anyway, here's our overlay map. Yippee. Now the alert's triggered. This is Ido Ogami's office. He's dead. Now we wait. Sometimes enemies spawn on the other side. That's entertaining. Speed this up. They'll go handle that for me. There we go. We have technology, folks. We don't have to sift through that. Yay. We do not require the authentic experience. Turns out they're still pissed, though. Don't you? Listen, you get back here, teammates. There's one of you. You went to find your own fun and adventure, I understand. And you get in this door. <laughs> that person was disintegrating in the ash. I punched him and reconstituted his body. <laughs> I pressed the correct pressure point to ensure that his body didn't explode. That's very thoughtful of me. Or, since Dio has come up in the Shadowrun stuff, Alright, there's your overlay. We have an overlay, we have wisdom, we're good now. Line me to these fucking elves. She's expecting you. You're taken to Frosty. There is a definite edge to her features of one who has seen and done things unspeakable. Her attitude is calm. Her words warm. Howdy! You're awesome. Thanks, chum. Uh, tell me about Thon. Uh, he's fucking... I fucking... I can't really explain him. That's great that you've, uh, were involved. What's with Raku? They're after money. You know about my brother? Uh, not a whole fucking lot, but I... I'm the one who contacted Caleb Brightmore. Uh, I was the employer. He was the Johnson. Uh, yeah. It got fucked. Anyway, this is my master. Harlequin. Ancient, wise, faded, jaded, enjoyer of pop culture, purveyor of alcohol, clown makeup, a mortal elf, Harlequin. And there we go. Frosty's basically our in to speak with. Old Harley here. That's it. We're done. Go visit the elves one more time. Stop. We visit, and we get a ride. <laughs> I feel like every time I play this, someone belittles her shoulder pauldrons. I'm sure I've done it myself. <laughs> you leave her shoulder pauldrons alone. <laughs> oh, 
You, could, you really couldn't even call it pauldrons, though. It's like... A singular, like, entity. Anyway, we need more money. Let's go get some more money. Excuse you, this is the 2050s. Out here busting my hoop for these viewers, they don't even know where we are on the calendar. Give me the money. Give me the new yin. The yin that is new. Not the old yin. Fuck the old yin. The new yin is in. In fashion, in vogue. And I care deeply about fashion. Look at my jacket. Look at my jacket. Look at my coat. I hesitated there because I tried to blend the words jacket and coat together. I joked. <laughs> That's right. Apology accepted. Pretty good data. We need more. I'm gonna grab that power focus. Note that I could still upgrade the cyber deck so much more. These these programs have extra levels to gain. Um, I can upgrade the evasion and the masking of the cyber deck some more as well. We could become even more powerful. Uh, but as I have clubbed every system upside the fucking head, it's uh, kind of unnecessary. There is one data store though I do want to visit. Uh, when all is said and done. Just for... Vengeance. At all, you know. I'm here to... I'm here for vengeance. To find my brother's killer. And avenge my brother. His death. Okay. Makes sense that I want vengeance against something else. So I will obtain it. Once I have obtained the money. Is a new yen. Eighty grand will suffice. That's five files. Great. Bye. All right. One terrible. Sixty-five thousand. Need fifteen more grand. What the? Excuse me? Get the hell out of my inventory. I don't need frag grenades. Frag grenades are illegal. I wouldn't hold on to anything illegal, he says wearing illegal heavy combat armor. He says being a troll. <laughs> Fine. So be it. Looks like uh, we're not going to be getting our huge payday this trip. Did get one file. Yeah, I just misplaced my license for my heavy combat armor, mill grade armor that the troll was wearing in Seattle. As one does. Just uh, my 500 new yen uh, misunderstanding thing. I misplaced it, you understand. I guess the world, since my hesitation there, decided for, uh, that to fail. 
Fine. So be it. Good. Show me the new yen. Give it to me. Give me all the new yen. Every single bit of new yen you can put it in my pocket. Put it in my pocket. Along with the license that I so totally have. You know what? Actually. Actually. Which one of these kids do I want to call? Not you, of course. Sergeant Mackelman. That's not you. Okay. Henry Culver. Weapon permit, 8,000 new yen. Sergeant Chilcut. Weapon permit, 10,000 new yen. Someone else offer a weapon permit or is just those two? Might just be those two. Definitely not Quentin James. Obviously not gonna be Alessandro Hobbs. Alright. Uh I guess I will call uh Henry J. Culver. What the fuck, why not? Yeah, sure. I was just gonna use this I mean I could totally buy the the power focus right now, but hey. Hey. Let me make sure this permit never gets misplaced. Give me a permit. Yeah. There you go. Lone Star won't bother you about illegal weapons from now on. Great. Thanks. Hugs and kisses. My my corner of it, but it's not a corner. It's a circle. I don't believe in corners. Corners don't exist. <laughs> corners were left behind during the prohibition days. Sergeant Shieldcut is in no way, shape, or form even remotely a useful contact. Because Henry J. Culver does everything better. <laughs> oh well. I'm not even gonna bother calling him. I bought him, but I'm not gonna call him. Fuck him. Just one more thing. Just a triple, triple, quadruple check. Henry, we're not done. Come back here, Henry. Henry, delete my criminal record. Bam. There we go. No problems here. Completely innocent. Done nothing wrong. Committed no crimes. Ido Ogami? Ah, uh, he tripped. <laughs> it was a terrible accident. Who can say? Just a big old misunderstanding. Just, uh, he slipped on a vodka spill, and like a shard of glass embedded itself into his neck. And the necks of his entourage simultaneously. It was really weird. No foul play. No one disintegrated. Don't know what you're talking about. Well, that doesn't really help. Yeah, spent too much on the weapons permit and getting my criminal record deleted. One more time for the road. For old time's sake, I guess. And then, uh, Troll in the Matrix, basically, uh... Yeah. We're at the end game. Guess we'll go finish the game. We thoroughly club the Matrix. There's room for growth, too. We could become even better. 
with our computer skill and with our like programs and with the very deck itself. We are using the Fairlight, but we can improve our evasion of masking. But we don't need to get better. This was more than sufficient to uh, resolve every matrix system in the game. Not that we visited every single one. We visited almost all of them, sure. We visited all the named ones, at least. All the ones that matter. I could even beat City Hall if I wanted to. If I'd have to get a run for it first. Because that one isn't saving your, uh, your Rolodex. There we go. Good. Good. Bidfo. Agira. Power Focus. I don't believe that uh, the Heal Wound Spell Focus stacks with the Power Focus. Pretty sure that's not true. If I wanted to get more Nuyen, I could buy like other sort of like trinket enhancements from like magic shops for a uh, Walking Bear. I don't think that's gonna be. I I I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Can't remember the last time I bothered with those damn things. Okay. Want to do anything more with spells? No, I don't want to confuse her. <laughs> I don't want her to cast something else. I'm fine with her having Mana Blast and Heal Wounds. We don't need any barrier, super barrier, or rock skin. Just stick with what you got. It'll work. Probably. We will have a nap, though, at the old tavern. We'll go stay at Gates Undersound again. It's got a good view. That's right, Necroloto. Oh wait, right. Well, we can go sleep at the. We can go sleep. Can't believe I forgot. There is one more thing I wanted to do in the Matrix. That vengeance bit I talked about. Yeah. Okay. Strength ten. Max. Yeah. 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 Body eight. Walking Bear. Sorcery, 11. It's good. That seems good. Looks like a good number to me. Two Fists. Body, 6. Quickness, 6. Karma, 7. Yeah, smoke them if you got them, I guess. Sort of the uh, graphical glitch happening there. It fine. It fine. Yeah. Yep! I may deal stun damage, but, uh... I'm brutally stunning. Let's go get some revenge. Against the first thing to ever knock me unconscious. And actually knocked my ass unconscious twice. I thought perhaps I may never go down this run. It is the, uh, only... Only Black Ice during this playthrough to have defeated me. I had to retreat from it a third time or else it would have knocked me out again. No other Matrix program has knocked me out uh, in this run. And I'm trying to remember if I have been knocked unconscious uh, and like wiped at any other point. It's probably happened and I've, I've just deleted it from my memory. I'm gonna come visit here for old time's sake. We were close to beating it. At the time I mused, like, if I just had, like, one more point of body, maybe that could have been enough. But, uh, we're a bit, we're a bit better than that now. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. 
Down in my heart, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Fuck you, financial data store. Active I don't even fucking care. Congrats, though. I actually failed to execute that attack. For you know what that means? Okay. Fine. You be upgraded two steps. I'll bring you back down. With my level 3 D grade. It's not even level 6, it's level 3. What's that? Can't even fucking hit me. What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? Come here often? There we go. The only data store to defeat me. Fucking bastard. It's been a half hour in this system. This was the data store I needed. Couldn't get into it. Well, we in here now. <laughs> there we go. And just remember, we could get better at the Matrix. Good. 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 That was a nice payoff there to send us off. Hell yeah. Uh, hmm. Ah, curiosity. How much does this shit cost? He's gonna be the one buying it. Combat sense spell lock, you know. 42 grand. Protection talisman, oh, you know. 39,000. Ah, uh, I mean, I could. I don't need this maglock passkey anymore. But it's, it's, it's a toothpick. Wouldn't even give me enough anyway for what I want. I ain't gonna fucking bother. Get out of here. Let's go mop this game up. A child. Or try to. This is the Wanderer for old times' sake. Booth is empty. If you are under contract with them and you visit the booth, uh, the contract is auto-canceled for you. That way, you know, you're not stuck. Because you can't take another a job from another Johnson if you're under contract with a Johnson. You can only have one contract at a time, even with a singular Johnson. A lot of rules. Anyway, we're here to see the clown. That's him. In the flesh. So we meet. I guess you would eventually have found me, given your resources and abilities. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on you since you first arrived in Seattle. What do you know about my brother Michael? Uh, totally avoidable. Uh, I underestimated made a thon. I apologize. Okay. Thon is a free spirit. Elemental whose summoner has been killed. Uh, very old. Very powerful. Uh, Thought is curse. Gotta continually replenish uh, life force. And so uh, finds magical artifacts to absorb. Raku is here for money. You know. That's what Megacorps do. Uh, at this point, if you haven't killed Ido Ogami, uh, you gotta go do that. But uh, don't worry, we've already taken care of that. Anyway, Raku won't bother us any longer. Problem solved. Surely they'll cut their losses. And then we show them the overlay map. We haven't gone to do that yet. We'd have to go do that. So location at Lysia's tomb, but the reference points have been removed. So, uh, we gotta complete and heal the map. And if we're really after the revenge we've come here for, we gotta thwart Thawne. Anyway, let's talk about Vigore. Uh, even if we've never spoken with Vagore and Yarl once, uh, we get the same bit of the dialogue, anyway. We're, we've been used for information. Anyway, we gotta go seek him out. 
wherever they may be. And we got a we got a little bit of clue for that. We spoke to uh, Gunderson about Vigore, and I think maybe Phantom or someone else, maybe Trent, mentions like how uh, they hang around uh, occasionally around the rat's nest. Shut him loud. We well, ask about uh, Vigore again. He's got a secret base in the rat's nest. Rat's nest. Shut him loud. He's involved in something so nasty, no Saint Johnson would touch it. Gundy's got standards, damn it. He's here, and he will be here to stay. Gunderson. <laughs> I am amused that uh, I was able to loop into that building. Uh, typically, when you're in a conflict, a combat encounter, you can't enter buildings. That's nice. Anyway, uh, we got the map. Howdy! <gasps> Oh, oh. Bye. Out of my face, weenies. Got no time for you. So now we know the specific location of Alicia's tomb. It's probably full of magical goodies. Impressive! Thaw must be very close to finding the tomb! Ray Spirit will not be allowed to desecrate it. As we sit here, Thaw may already be Elysia's tomb. Joshua, you must go down to assemble a team to destroy Thaw. We have very little time, so equip your team well, and when you return here, I will have arranged for your transport to the tomb. I beseech you, Thaw must be stopped in an elven myth preserve. Repair things on this end for your return. That's it. That's our, that is our commandment, to, to go. And recruit a team and do whatever the fuck we want to do in this video game. Afterwards, uh... Once we go after Thawne, that's it. So, uh, let's... Let's see... Let's see about, uh... This whole Thawne business. And maybe we'll even try to lose intentionally, assuming I don't get my ass kicked even without drag. Doors were ripped off the tube. That way we can uh, confirm that Doc Wagon will come pull your ass out of the situation, too. Entering the antechamber, you see a giant humanoid creature digging in the dirt ahead. Huge clawed hands, full artifacts from a broken chest, placing them aside. The creature turns on the chest and appears at you. You have arrived in time to witness the birth of a new era deal, slave. You feel something reach into your mind and force you towards the ground. I am Thaw, new ruler of this world. With the powers of this tomb, all will deal to me. The unseen iron grip begins to diminish, and once again, you are in control of your actions. What's happening? My power is waning. Harlequin's voice, Harlequin's voice rings over the walkie-talkie he gave you. Joshua! Council is channeling their powers to weaken Thon. He's now susceptible to physical damage. It's all up to you now. Let him have it. Hail Gator. Hail Bear. 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 <laughs> You know, yeah. You know what? You're annoying me. Shut up. A dock wagon is alerted by your wristband. Within seconds, a trauma team arrives, guns blazing to pull you from your dire situation. The steam stabilizes your condition, administers basic first aid. Sure, while later you're dropped on the hospital. As I said, no fail state. Really, Lone Star? Yep. Yeah. Alright. That's the power of the dock wagon and of Home Depot. Now I'm gonna actually apply myself. Oh, 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 oh,
I mean, you saw how close Thon got to getting obliterated without me even trying. And with uh, Walking Bear kind of being in some broken loop trying to bring Eileen Two Fist back. So, uh, let's, uh, let's resolve some shit, yeah? That's not very nice. Nuclear launch detected. If you're having troubles defeating Thon, just bring some shotguns. Uh. Okay. <laughs> it's possible. That my hex editing, my crazy palette, has broken the game. <laughs> so we missed out on the final sequence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, we win. We do miss out on our ending credit sequence, uh, but that is the last bit that we have to do. I uh, go through a few key prompts as Lacortrix smashes through the wall. Yeah, the plot twist is that I now consume all the artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, man. That was good. Yeah. Beat the shit out of, uh... That was great. Alright. Let's, uh, let's try something else here. So we're here. We're about to go to the thawne. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna hard reset and break my beautiful portrait. It's gonna be Joshua, but it's gonna be a fucked up color of Joshua. And uh, if need be, I can fix Joshua's color as well. <laughs> See if I can, uh... Let's actually open up the hex editing tool again. Let me see if I can find the specific value. Real quick here. Pretty sure that's the one. Uh, yeah. Let's change that to that. And see whether I broke the game. Uh, I'm, it's like... Well, let me put it like this. I have done double-digit, like, playthroughs of recording and streaming Shadowrun over the past decade, and then a bunch more as a kid, I have never recorded or streamed playing the Super Nintendo version of Shadowrun. I believe that will act as a sufficient answer to your question. All right. I have healed Joshua's color. His, uh, his sprite is uh, still going to be this, but... He takes my fucking picture. This is how uh, your human decker is supposed to look. Let's see if uh, that'll bring uh, the Cortrix to us. Round three. We'll say that Thon won the first round. <laughs> because I... I'll say Dog Wagon won the first round. <laughs> More like it. Let's see, I reconstituted that body again. Uh, I won the second round. Winner takes all.
Don't worry about it. There's no time for you to waste on casting heal wounds. We are in a fight. A big old meaty fucking fight here. Go full offense. Go full offense. It'll change their AI behavior. I'll be full offense too. Fuck it. That'll actually change my number. Okay, so uh, it's possible the game doesn't account for the idea of uh, bludgeoning Thawne unconscious. Or, you know, because they only have one health bar. Bludgeoning Thawne to death. <laughs> With my incredible power. So, that wasn't it. Like, I've never heard a death rattle from him either, which is... It's new for me. Okay. Okay. Um, new plan. One more, one more thing I will do. Yeah, I... <laughs> LaCortrix is about to, like, make his entrance and, like, oh. Oh, yeah, I was gonna buy a shotgun. It, or, the alternative is that LaCortrix never makes his entrance because he said that he'd only come whenever uh, his help was needed when he, I was certain to die. And so he's just not there. And so we kill Thawne and it's like, oh, you, you broke the game, Lou. Thawne's dead. <laughs> you don't need to seal the spirit in the tomb. Pavora <laughs> Calcum. Okay. Free spirit's just dead. You fucking murdered it with your hands. Maybe you really are an head. Uh, like I hacked my hands. Oh, understood. Anyway, I went to the wrong location to buy the shotgun that I wanted. Let's just come here. Prime Mall. I should have just done it. If I, didn't. I don't know what the hell I was doing going to Redmond. Prime Mall's right here. Here, let me sell this uh, stint badge. Of course, I am completely ineffective with a shotgun. I'll buy these super fucking expensive clips, whatever. I'm carrying a bunch anyway. I have no firearm skill, no shotgun skill, and I have six karma. Uh, so that's gonna be rough. We're gonna let, uh, Tufus persist in her spur thing, because that won't be a problem for this. That's not gonna be a reason why this breaks. I've come into that fight with dudes who have spurs before without an issue. But me clubbing Thawne to death with my fist, that, that may be doing it. So I'm just gonna be fully fucking ineffective. It's okay. I'm here as moral support. But this isn't based on the timer. It probably is. No. 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 There's be, supposed to be like a trigger thing, like a certain amount of damage is dealt the Thon, and so then the Cortex comes out to play. Let me go ahead and take care of that. Never ended up buying it. Oh no, I did. Yay! <laughs> I 
I prefer my ending, where I fucking... I soft lock me into the game. <laughs> I fucking punch on to death. Yeah, can it be true? Is Thawne really defeated now that his corporeal form is destroyed? You bet. You did it! Alicia's powers and secrets are what's it? Really, I prefer the alternate reality where I just fucking punch his corporeal form <laughs> back to the fucking meadow plains and take the, fa the artifacts for myself. Later, nerd! Don't worry if you down me, Doc Wagon will come save me. I am not exhausted. Believe you me. I punched this fucking game so hard, Thon bro. Damn right. Okay. So, uh, when you've got... Uh, 14 strength... 10 naturally from a troll, and then an extra 4. Uh, and you've got your fists. Uh, no wired reflex, just your fists, and a dream, and a bunch of melee combat skill, uh, and countless hours of practice spitting your cyber deck. You too can just clobber ancient and powerful spirits to never ever land. It's great. It's wonderful. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. You too. Just undergo the goblinization. <laughs> oh. This was good. We trolled the Matrix. Sometimes the Matrix trolled me. Got our fair light. Upgraded it mostly. There's still room for improvement on that, though. Gratuitous, wholly unnecessary. Much like my power level. It was immense. Yes. I mean, was it the most effective way of dealing damage? No. Was it entertaining? Yes. It's fun. And then just being so fucking durable. Uh, you saw how long it took Thon to kill me there. Uh, presumably that's a physical spell, so it was actually like the body was helping to resist that too. Just standing there like, what? Fucks up, man. Yeah. I got five quickness. Nine with cybernetics, got four intelligence, I got five willpower, I got five charisma. I got a shitload of body and strength. Fight me. Fight me. Spirit's like, what the fuck, man? And then uh he's like he just like starts punching Thon. You know that it's all about that face, about that face, no treble. <laughs> Oh, shit. Hmm. Yes! <laughs> That's the point! I hacked everything! Look at my coat! Look at my coat! Uh, now, obviously, though, that does take care of this playthrough. Um, I do still have a vested interest in Shadowrun 2058. And uh, so I expect that I will broadcast that at some point in the nebulous future. I couldn't say when. I got I got things that got to be done. And obviously, uh, locally recording wise, I'm doing Mega Man Eight that death match, uh, which I will get to once again. Just conquered Mega Man Eight. We still have some other Mega Man games to go. Before I go, though, I will. Uh, briefly pull open, uh, one moment, I said I will briefly pull open, gotta run 2058, you guys can stay in the small view for now, you'll get over it, Unarmed is definitely not the most powerful build. Being a troll and having a shit ton of strength is the most powerful build. Did you know? Great. So we pulled up 2058. 
just to show this off briefly. New game, Gator Shaman. Pretty sure the story intro is the same. Ta-da! Here to pick up Michael's stuff. We need 250 million. So, we have a Walther. PB120. I'll give you guys the big view back. We've got a form-fitting level 2 armor. We have uh, 10 expendable fetishes. 6 uses of a stem patch. 10 clips. We have 4 body, 3 quickness, 4 strength, 3 charisma. Our human, human shaman has 4 strength. 4 intelligence, 6 willpower, 6 sorcery, 5 unarmed. Free negotiation, 2 etiquette. We are ready to punch some motherfuckers. Um... Yeah, feel pretty good about that. Notice that we don't have an inventory slot consumed by our Shaman Totem. Uh, Spell-wise, we start with a 4-6 Mana Dart. Does not drain me. We have a Force 4 Mana Cloud. Physical damage on area of effect, and uh, I tested that out. And yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's exactly what it says in the 10. Armor, which can drain me. Heal at level force three, and then mana barrier, which I don't show off that often. It's a magical wall, which inhibits movement only. Only movement. But like, if you want to stop being pursued by some sort of terrible, horrible thing, much as the case of, like, non-Shadowrun 2058, BAM! You can have one barrier at a time. What's that, weenie? You want to get to me? Aw, oh, damn. Damn, how are you going to get me? Bro, oh no. No! Oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Damn, oh. Shit, dude. Fuck. Sorry. Not sorry. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, he's gotta eat me! He's gotta eat me! Ha 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 ha! Joshua wins! <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you play as the decker, you uh, start with a cyber deck. You don't actually have to go through the whole like hotel shit to get one. The stuff that we can buy here, the Ares Weapon Emporium Shop, uh, here in the Revan Barrens, we've got an Ares Light Fire. We've got a Fischetti Needler. We've got an Ares Predator. Uh, we have the Ruger Sport Rifle. The Colt Manhunter along with the uh, IPE Offensive Grenade, Anti-Personal Grenade with High Fragmentation, and Concussion Grenade. We have this Ultra Vest and Jacket open to us. We have Clips. Uh, most guns are capable of using a variety of ammo types. We have Flechette Rounds, we have Explosive Rounds, we have APDS. So that's cool. Med kits, stim patches, obviously. We select our firearm to accessorize it. We got our smart gun system, silencer, sound suppressor, laser sight, and the gas vents. No? No? What's that? You stupid bastard! Reach through the barrier, pick up the new yin. You think you can, you think you can avenge the death of your fallen comrade, hmm? What a piece of me, boy? I'll fuck you up. That's what I thought. That's what having the talent does for you, baby. Shut him low. Hey, Gunderson. Yeah, uh, so straight up. Hey, you want to do a simple Matrix run? Payment values and prices of items are significantly different. And this is just a courier run. What's my negotiation skill? Three. Yeah. So, there's that. So I'm looking forward to exploring this. I don't know what class I will play as. Uh, whether it'll be a Gator Shaman, Decker, or Samurai. It'll probably be... It'll probably be Samurai, since uh, last week we did the playthrough involving a, uh, a Shaman. And uh, just now we finished a Decker playthrough. Alright, fuck this. I'm nuking myself. Nuclear launch detected. Rocks fall, everyone fucking dies, including me. Fuck you. I didn't even perish. Magician wins.
Hail Gator bitches. To Hail Gator. Thank you. Do do. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of uh, me fucking around. And I go seal myself with Boris. No escape, bastard. <laughs> Tell me what you know about my brother. <laughs> And I'll catch you up sometime in the nebulous future known as win the fuck ever. Take care of yourselves. Do good deeds. Uh, punch. Make a corporate strike team. My God! Unbelievable! I don't... The bastards! <laughs> they climbed over the wall! <laughs> See this shit. Unfuckably. Thank you, everyone.